Greetings, adventurers. I'm Paul Grabanzo, your dungeon master for tonight's Nat 21's Sunday Side Quest. And this episode, when gnomes go bad. That's right. Ooh, our Sunday Side Quest follows the exploits of Kazoo, bard, gnome, adventuring party girl, but now she has run into some interesting times. Let's just say that. Yes, my friends, we last saw Kazoo turning on her own party, blasting everyone with a cloud of daggers and departing from the middle of Thecla's maze underneath her school, the school, Thecla's, Thecla's school for wayward warlocks uh she disappeared in a puff of ham uh for those of you who don't understand what i'm saying you're just gonna have to look at the last episode and <laughs> she uh, reappeared in the throne room of the one and only thecla the minotaur mummy lady and there we stand, the beginning of this adventure. Kazoo, alone in a room full of warlocks. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the Sunday side quest, When Gnomes Go Bad. If I had the, the all queued up, here we go. <clears throat> Got no map for showing which direction you are going But why start on a journey if you know where it will end? And once you recognize To anticipate surprise You'll relish every twist and turn that lies around the bend wriggly dum da doo da terry o dee da dee da dee There's so much to see beyond the open door It's outward bound we go Who knows what we'll find that we've never found before Adventures waiting further down the road. It's waiting for you further down the road. Lie, da, lie, da, lie, da, Welcome back, adventurers. Tis I, Paulo Garbanzo, your dungeon master. And there we open the scene. Deep in Thecla's school for wayward warlocks. A room, ancient. A throne in one side of the room. And a massive minotaur mummy lady. Horns. Like throne room. Kind of looks like this. Because we haven't changed the set in a week. And there, surrounded by warlocks in dark robes, in the center of the room, Kazoo, recently teleported into the center of the room. Boop. There she is. Well, 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 Thecla says, without moving her lips at all, as a mummy, they're not prone to too many physical actions. Well, Hello, Kazoo. Mm. Hi, Thecla. Good to see you again. Looking great. <clears throat> Say, you wouldn't happen to have seen a good friend of mine, I, uh, Ayala. Is she around? Oh. Yes, <sighs> she's around. You could say that. You wouldn't mind if uh, Ayala and I just you know left oh oh kazoo huh? Huh? i'm sorry huh? maybe you don't understand ayala has started her training at the school she's happy here yes she maybe is going... i need to have a conversation with her just to know for sure how happy she is <laughs> Mm. Oh, she is wonderful. As a matter of fact, she's doing quite well. Quite well. 
But it sounds like you'd still like to see her, even though she has left you far behind to train. Yes, please. I would like to see her, please. I said well, please. One certain way that you can do that, Kazoo. After all the damage that you have wrought to my party, my chance to become a real A-list celebrity. Oh, come on, you totally could have bounced back from that. All you have to do was not lose your top and you, I am probably talking a little bit out of turn here. I will. <laughs> you hear a low, a very low, and but very like grounded tremble as the mummy lady growls a little bit under her <laughs> breath, which she doesn't have any breath. She's a mummy. <sighs> the entire floor starts to tremble. You just need a PR person. You could have spun it. I've just, I been so I stopped talking, Kazu. Perhaps if I had as much charisma as you, little one. <laughs> Ding. Yes. My new friend. Can I call you my friend? Do I have a choice? Yeah! Yeah! I love friends! friends you friends. could help me, Kazoo. And I can help you. For Kazoo, if you do a small favor for me, I will forgive your crimes, your damage done to my wonderful Halloween party, which was just fantastic. All the right people really were funny. there. Yeah, definitely. Good party. I will forgive that. And I will let you see Ayala again. Awesome. Okay. I uh, feel can... like yeah, it's a little trick here, but uh, I'm in. Uh, well, because a favor. A favor. I have a few jobs for you to do. Simple jobs. They might be dangerous, but I have something that can help you out of your danger. A little bit of a potion. This potion will give you vitality, powers, far more powers than you currently have. Just drink this bottle. You will have all of the powers to help me to help you. Do I have a choice? Not really. Is it poison? Oh, quite the opposite. It is vitality. It is life force. It is the essence. Oh, it actually doesn't smell that bad. It's, hold on, just a little. Oh, it's actually not that bad. Hold on. Oh my, oh. That's, it goes that smooth. No. Oh. Hold on, oh, I'm feeling something weird happening. Something is happening. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, oh no, I can feel, oh, it is not agreeing with me. Oh, God, oh, it burns. Yes. What did you give me? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> this is the best. Oh. Oh. <laughs> 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 this is great. Oh, I feel so good. Yes. Mm. Yes. Feel the power. Oh. Feel the power rushing through you, Kazoo. <sighs> or should I say, Slippery Steve? It's good to be back. I tell you. Look at that. Oh, and hey, you guys. Still got my invisibility cloak. This is awesome. Yes, Woo. yes. I tell you. 
I knew I was coming back, but I did not know. <laughs> <laughs> yes. You know, Slippery Steve, you're, uh, you might notice that your the angle of your view is slightly... The angle is greater. You're a and little I'm bit shorter. something here. This is... I did not expect that. that Steve, is, Steve, yeah. Nice. No, play with that later, Steve. They don't call them fun bags for nothing. <laughs> oh, hey, Thecla! You look amazing! What's it been? How, how long has it been? You've been dead for 300 years, Slippery Steve. And then you were undead ah. for a little while. Whew. Ah, so. Kazoo and her right. friends managed to get your life force out. Back in of, season one? Way back in season one. They managed huh. to get your life force into a little bottle. Mm. Now, while some of your friends... Klaxor. What happened to those guys? Oh, uh, Klaxor, such a jerk. He's such yeah. a do-gooder. <laughs> yeah. He gave his life force to heal a magical spring. <laughs> That's just like Klaxor. I'm the yeah. hero. Oh, yes. man. It's like, I got but my cloak. You, what do I, yeah. you Slippery hey. Steve, are now back in mm. living form. And I have a mission for you, Steve. Really? You can call me Slippery Zoo. I like that. <laughs> I like this as well. Slippery Zoo. Mm. Uh, a little bit of your bard instinct and a little bit of your thieving yeah. instinct. Yeah, I feel more powerful than ever before. This was the best thing that I have done. What is this? This is falling apart there. <laughs> Screw that. Stupid yeah. gnome hat. Yes. Feel the evil. Slippery Zoo, I have a few people that you need to take care of, but not just that. Oh, yes. I I need to bring some people over to our side. You need to have a conversation? Yes. And you should have that conversation with them. Oh, yes. Mm. Steve, a few missions for you. And I, I'm sure you're happy to do them because... They probably involve killing. Oh, you know how I feel about killing. Yes. I love it. It's awesome. All right. What are we going to do? Let's see. I'm feeling like I got some time to make up for. It. Yes. This is going to be great. Okay. Now. Names, places. I've got, you know, I've actually got a couple of things I want to get done too. Uh, mm. so, uh, write everything down or tell me a little bit about them. What do you want done? What I need for you to do is, first of all, I need you to gather some forces. I know you can. You know, create a group of thieves or assassins or something so that we may grow in power together. Yeah, you know what? Kazoo immediately thought of someone. She tried to hide it. But I know who she's thinking of. It's going to be great. You're going to love this. <laughs> I love it already. I love it already. Yes, I need you to form a squad, a team, so that we can gather our forces and destroy some people who have been giving me a bad time. Who would dare mess with you, Thakla? Oh, oh, you know, everyone wants to knock off the top power, blah, blah, blah. You know, everyone wants to shoot the fastest gun in the West or whatever. Uh... It's never ended, honestly. Think. Honestly, they never. don't love you like I love you, baby. Oh, that's very sweet, Steve. I have been looking after some of your affairs. Uh, your is my house. Uh... Oh yes, your house is still there. You left it in good hands, and we have made sure that this person did not lose power or come to ill. Although he is a little bit perhaps mm, I won't say fighting for the wrong side but he might need to be persuaded to join yours and not I go down the path this gnome is very persuasive I thought the combination of you two would be really wonderful so right now uh, I will give you some names. He, he, she actually has one of her warlocks 
comes over to you and hands you a small scroll. Says, these are some people who need to be taken care of. Form your group. Take care of these people. Find your belongings. Maybe set up your house again. Mm. And then All right, let's do this. I, I seriously owe you for bringing me back, Lady Thecla. Even though this is a little surprising, but I think I can work with this. It's what we had to do after they destroyed your body. Sorry. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Claxor, what a dork. All right. Time to get busy. So, first thing I'd like to do is, uh, I mean, yeah, go to the house. Is that the first thing? Go to my mm -hmm. house. You could. Okay. Or put out an ad. I will say you do have. Uh, oh, form the Legion of Gnome. Yeah, I'm thinking Legion of Gnome. You have to be three feet or less to join my gang. <laughs> 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 yes, yeah, so let's do that. <laughs> you do know that you have a ramshackle hideout that in the in the uh, in the shambles of Magecroft, there used to be three hundred years ago. There was there was a building you used as a hideout. You don't have any information on that. Thecla has given you the information that the sweet house that you did have in the creepy garden district, uh, you left it in your will to a friend. Uh, and uh, that person still apparently has it 300 years later. Is that the uh, Endric Greylord? Yes, Endric yeah, Greylord, the very young vampire, yeah. but now 300 years older. Mm. 300 years. He's had to do some repairs on the house, though. I mean, well, yeah, that's why I left it to him. Yes. <laughs> so, all right, so I'll go have a conversation with uh, Endric. <clears throat> all right. You do think that perhaps actually, well. Mm, uh, do I not want to do that alone? How, maybe how, not want to do that alone. Maybe, maybe for a Yeah. All right. So then I will go check out, and I got this idea, right? So Kazoo, the first time she ever cast the Dagger Cloud mm -hmm. successfully was when she was doing a benefit concert for the poor orphans. Right, and someone stole the money. Mm -hmm. She went after them, and in an alley, and I'm loving this alley thing. She cast Dagger Cloud, turned them all into pink mist. So beautiful. I keep replaying that memory. She hates that memory. I love it. It's on a loop now. This is great. <laughs> so I'm thinking just to be, you know, cool about it. I'm going to enlist those very same orphans, the champions, huh? Give them some work. I, you know, I'm a humanitarian. I'm a gnometarian. 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 I'm very generous with these poor, poor orphan souls. I'm going to give them work. I'm going to give them a job. Give them, give them a purpose. I'm going to give them a hat. All right. It's not to love. All right. right, so I get out a pen, paper, and I write up an ad. Are you short? <laughs> Sick of people who are taller than three feet picking on you? <laughs> Ready to stand up for yourselves? but not too much because you've got a boss that is going to help you out. Do you like pointy hats? Get right down a location and a time for the audition. And I'm going to take it to a scribe and have him copy, make a okay. say 50, 50 copies, 50 enough. Hundred fifty. Make it a hundred. Sure. Hundred, hundred copies. Sorry. Right. So you want, you want to get this spread around a little bit. Yeah. So then I'll go down to where those poor little, poor little uh, champions are hanging out, and I'll make sure that they get to see it. 
All right. Uh, height requirement right. is underlined. <laughs> so just just so you know, what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have we're gonna have to make this a real PDF. This is, this is out out of game. We're gonna have to make this a real PDF. It'll be available on our Patreon. <laughs> and, and this is for all the people out there who are like running their own homebrew campaigns, and they're like. They're like, there's the there's the tavern where all the the signs are posted for adventures. This is one of them. <laughs> this is one of them. Put it on your sign and just have them go. Mm. The hell is this? <laughs> like, <laughs> so uh, yeah, so that's gonna be real. It's gonna be the Patreon. The Legion of Gnome. The Legion of Gnome. We want you to join the Legion of Gnome. The Legion of Gnome. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna have to make that real. All right, so. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> have a little map on it. Uh, yeah. All right. So, uh, so you get that together. They, they're, uh, yeah. They're they're in the they're in the shale in the rambles of uh, Magecraft. So they're like, yeah, whatever, crazy lady. <laughs> we can put this out there. Sure. Uh, so. uh, free food. <laughs> <laughs> Will there be punch and pie? Punch and pie. <laughs> I said punch and pie. I heard there would be punch and pie. There is none. Oh. <laughs> dick, 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 dick. <laughs> Evil. Uh, punch and pie. All right. Janine is saying that uh, if you want calligraphy, <laughs> tell her the lettering style. She'll scribe it for you. All right. All right. Fantastic. I love it. Punch oh, my God. And pie. All uh, right. What do we got? Well, uh, so what do you like plan it for like a day later or something or a couple days yeah, later? Yeah, let's give it, or... a, give it a little right. time for people to. Uh, you hide. I mean, you do have cash. I guess you're going to hide out in in just a tavern or you're going to. What you going to do? Uh, I'm going to go shopping. I'm going okay. to hoard topic. Excellent. That's that's a great place to go. <laughs> yeah, let me. Let me um, I got this shirt. It says. Freak. freak. Nice. I've got I got more fishnet here. Let me just put some fishnet on there. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think I'm goth enough. Let's get some more wristbands. Yeah. I mean the you got your wristband game, I have to say, is pretty high. That's pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yes. Oh wait, here we go. I got it. Hold on. Lipstick. <laughs> oh yeah. I'm totally going to hot topic. I got this cool black lipstick. So Brittany is there and she's like, uh, hi. Do you do you have a Super Savers Club card? Because you look like you shop here a lot. Do I need one? Really? Uh, I mean, you can get 5% off. Yeah, I'm getting 5% off. Uh, Five fingers. Yeah, Dagger okay. That, I can't. Counter. <laughs> I, uh, uh, uh. I don't really, um, I, I, I'd call a manager, but there isn't one. So, um, get thank clothes. you. Takes them, takes everything and just walks out. Oh man. <laughs> evil. All right. Just everyone at home drink when she does something evil. <laughs> <laughs> this is good lipstick. I like this lipstick. Are you extorting the teenagers? Uh, clearly she's, <laughs> oh, more eyeliner, maybe. Mm, yeah. Ooh, yeah. I've got eyeliner. Hold on. <laughs> hey, man, my eyeliner here. Let's see if this works. Oh no, it's not gonna work. It's gonna be like super smudgy. You are. Okay. You can tell how evil I am by eyeliner. All right, so you go on a little shopping spree to get yourself a little more gothed up, and uh, yeah. All right, so fantastic. You hang out in uh, any particular tavern? There are there are several to choose from. Any like, of them that have been around since I was there? Uh, you know what? The Silver Ladle, the one where uh, Big Mama lives. Well, she she wasn't there when you were there. There was a tavern three hundred years ago on the same spot, and it was much smaller, about a, a third of the size. Also, it. It seems to have grown uh, as it looks like this is a this is like a piratey bar and it is on right on the docks. People have dragged old ships up from mm -hmm. the port and s basically put it onto the building. And so now the building is 
50% buildings, like actual housing buildings, and 50% ships that people have literally just crammed into the building. And, and uh, yeah. Actually, Big Mama is an a ogre who uh, used to be an adventurer like you, but she took a ballista to the knee. And... Uh, and so now she's just uh, owns a owns a tavern, uh, but uh, yeah, yeah. Because you know, this is good. Yeah. Seemed smaller. Steam <laughs> <laughs> was bigger then. <laughs> right. So uh, so yeah, you're like, huh? And now of course it was it it might actually it's probably still called the Silver Ladle. Uh, it's been called Silver Ladle forever, uh, but everybody calls it Big Mamas. And uh, it's quite a crazy place. Like it is definitely, uh, it is definitely on the edge. Uh, mm. Pirates, adventurers, you know the huge. So all right. So I'll do a little uh, gambling. Mm -mm. Uh, so that I have some spending cash. All right. And uh, you know, I will definitely be cheating. Sleight of hand. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to get as much gold as I can here. Okay. Uh, give me a sleight of hand roll. Oh, I don't mind if I do. Did I mention it's a plus 13? Jesus. <laughs> so, yeah. That's a 23. Nice. I'm going to uh, I'm gonna give you the option. There's two tables of gamblers. Uh, give me give me a perception check. Before before you actually start. Also a good. Uh, <laughs> oh yeah. Except for the part where I rolled a three, but oh, the gnome ooh. had good perception, so it as it was a plus eleven, so it's fourteen. Oh wow. Well, you're. I'm gonna say you're sixty percent certain that of the two tables, the one on the right is is like the one on the left, the person running the game is clearly a thief, uh, a high level thief and probably has really good, uh, you know, the other Excellent. table, probably not run by people who do sleight of hand for a living. So odds are that table, the one to go to, to yoink. So uh, I'm going to give them a roll and they do not detect anything funny. Then you clean up. Yoink. Uh, now awesome. I do have to say that this place definitely does not cater to the more richer people. So eh, it's going to take you a little while to uh, to actually make some money. But eventually everybody at the table is like, oh, man, I F this. I'm out. And uh, you gain a total of probably, I'm going to say, mm, let's give you a good high stake possibility right at the end. Um, but... Yeah, everybody's like cashes out as quick as possible. So you, you gain about a hundred gold before they're like, no way, no way. Like you sucker one guy in, you get his money, he, he goes broke, uh, he's out. And everyone else is like, yep, I'm out, too rich, nope, bye. And uh, it does attract the attention of the other person at the other table. I just smile. I have a... I have a, like um, an instrument and I have this lantern thing mm -hmm. and I know that they're my backup band, but I feel like I seem to remember that they were something else too. Mm. Come on, Kassim, tell me what it was. They're your backup band. They're called the Lit Harmonies. I and just they, have to put you on the big screen because you just look so good like that. This is they, <laughs> they they play along with you and they help you do some. Okay, I'm gonna give it a shot. I'm gonna try some uh, gnome songs, but I don't even know any songs, and I'm kind of hoping the autopilot kicks in. Mm -hmm. Let's see what All happens. Right. So here's here's what needs to happen. You need to roll with disadvantage. As yeah. Kazoo is trying to stop you. Because she doesn't want to ruin her reputation. All right, I hear you. That's fair. I'll give you that. Let's see. Okay. 
Do not open your dice case upside down. It's a pro tip for everyone involved. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh my God. Guess what I just found out. <laughs> I just found out that um, who Steel Fox really is. <laughs> Oh, you did. <laughs> <laughs> I did not know that because I remember Steel Fox from when I was a kid. All right, here we go. Okay. Okay, what am I doing here? Uh, it's disadvantage, so you just need to roll twice. Uh, you. And the lesser one, so it's an 11. Mm -hmm. And this is for a performance roll? Yes. So 11 plus 13 is... Uh, <laughs> 24. Now I said the DC pretty high because Kazoo is trying to stop you, but you're like Kazoo can't help it. Once she starts playing, Kazoo is I in. Know. She's brown, and so she's like, I can't let it go. <laughs> and oh yes, and uh, <laughs> in plus five. New Kazoo Fox is why are you really bad? Why all you do is fail? Wow, I guess that was her biggest hit. It was the one about the new cuttlefish. They're booger eaters. That's her biggest hit. That's her biggest hit. And well, the, the Lynn Harmonies funny. are singing along, but um, because Steve didn't give them the wink. Right. They're not doing any... Uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now, hilariously, Steve... Uh, let's see, would have come up against the cuttlefish original? gang, the original yeah. cuttlefish gang. Uh, <laughs> and they were kind of dicks, but you know, so is Slippery Steve. <gasps> so <laughs> he's like, oh, he's like, oh, oh, it's like he knew those magic items. He was aware of those. Uh, yes. Yeah. Oh. My friends at home, there's a lot of backstory here that is like being regurgitated from Kazoo into Steve. And he's like, what, what? It's, so the evening goes on. You do a great performance and people actually throw you some coins and things like that. Um, All right. And, uh, and uh, you eventually find a room at the tavern. And uh, the next day, you're ready for the auditions, which are being held. Yes. Where are they being held? Are they being held in your uh, in the in the rant in the shambles or? Yeah, in the shambles. All right. So you actually go to your the place that you your old old little teeny hideout that you used to have, uh, which is a ruin now. Uh, but there is there's like two floors that are left and part of a roof, uh, and it is just completely. Mostly uninhabitable and slightly dangerous to get up to that second floor. But, you know, it's one of those creaky old, like, you're like, oh, this is great. If anybody who, like, weighed a lot stood on the <laughs> floor, they would, they would go right through. Nice. So, nice. <laughs> so you're like, yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, <laughs> so you're like, yeah, you set up a little little chair in the corner and uh, and you're you're waiting and you see some people arriving and uh, it's a bunch of a, a bunch of different people. There's there's a dwarf and a halfling and a couple of people. Um, oh, and 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 here's here's one. So you hear the creaking of the stairs and somebody's like hey hey only one at a time because it, it, it looks pretty dangerous yeah and so they one at a take, time take their time uh and uh in steps um hi this i found this flyer um mm. you're yeah, looking yeah. for small naughty people that's me i'm totally bad i want to do bad stuff I'm so naughty is this the right place? I don't know if I'm in the right yeah, place. Am I in the absolutely. right place? You're totally in the right place. So uh, what was the worst thing that you've ever done? Oh, my goodness. Um, one time I lied to my mom. Um, another time I ate food after I dropped it on the ground and I picked it up and ate it. Oh, yeah. No, that's disgusting. Um, um, what else? Um, it's an <clears throat> 
uh, dissonant whispers on your mm -hmm. face. So uh, I'm sorry, vicious, vicious mockery, not dissonant with vicious mockery is a cantrip. So that does uh, 3d4 damage. So Jesus. Oh, <laughs> looks <laughs> like you just took uh, six damage. Uh, thank you. <laughs> nope. You sucked. Get out. It's so disgusting. Super disgusting. Like, ew. don't know. That is that is not sanitary. Uh, all right. If you're still alive, just crawl out. Don't come back. <laughs> uh, so, so a couple other people uh, <laughs> come up. Uh, there, there's a there's a, a team of halflings. There's two halflings, and they're like, "Hi." Hey, uh, hi. We're we're like we're brothers. We do stuff together. Mm. Yeah, I don't like how you guys. There's like two of you and only one of me. So hold on a second, real quick. Vicious mockery because you're the ugly one. Vicious mockery, you're even uglier. So <laughs> f off. <laughs> do you want me to roll? Uh, <laughs> not really. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I don't. I don't like it when people outnumber me. You guys right. could like stand on each other's head there. So that was eight damage. Ouch. Oh geez, they're <laughs> they're only they only got one hit time. <laughs> All right. Uh, that one just happened to roll high. I'm sorry. In walks someone who probably saw the message from uh, from over there, at Big Mama's place. Yeah, I hear you be looking for a crew, eh? No, this is not a crew. It's a legion of gnome. Ah, legion. Here. Tis but another legion word for crew, matey. Yeah, now, look, you don't go correcting me. I'm sorry. This is not going to work. It's not me. It's you. Vicious mockery. What? <laughs> uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be correcting me. That is that is like that is like minion rule number one. Do not correct. I mean, seriously, am I wrong? Am I the bad guy here? Am I the bad guy here? <laughs> yeah, what are yeah, we talking? You're, you're, you're the bad guy. Yes. All right. Uh, you go through a couple more. I think that are probably going to fail as well. Uh, there's a dwarf. He's like, meh. Uh, I like. So, uh, why would you like to join the Legion of Gnome? I would like to hit things with a hammer. Is that allowed? Actually, yes. Yes, that is allowed. Uh, so uh, what kind of experience do you have? I've been hitting things with hammers since I was born. I see. What's, what is your name, sir? Hammer. I mean, I, that's that's the name I kind of made up because I, I figured oh. we were going for some like superhero kind of thing. And then like everybody's got mm -hmm. code names. Hammer. No. You cannot give yourself your own Hammer. damn code name. That is that is like, oh, I'm so cool. I gave myself my own nickname. No, dude, that is the lamest way to do it. How about vicious mockery? <laughs> Honestly, come on. I don't think I'm asking for too much. I'm asking for you to be short and to do what I say and blindly follow my directions. I'm not asking for too much. <sighs> the next person comes over. <laughs> and, uh, well, you know, eventually you're, you, you go through a few more people. Uh, none of them really seem to fit the bill. And, uh, and if they're going down with one vicious mockery, honestly... Yeah. <laughs> It's like a cantrip level spell. Yeah. Which I love, by the way. I didn't have that before. You, uh, you pretty much eliminate every person who comes to the thing. Mm -hmm. uh, and Anyone you're, left? You're sitting there for a moment. And eventually, small feet you hear coming up the stairs and turning the corner. But there's no one there until you realize down there. Yeah. Hey, I'm down here. Hey. Okay, listen, listen, listen. Hear me out. Hear me out. 
I know you didn't give anybody else much of a chance. And most people don't ever give me a chance. I know. I look like a sentient banana. And that's because I am. But I wasn't always. Will you give me a chance? I'd like to hear this. This I need to know. I got to hear your story. You got to tell me. Because I can't say no to this. This is great. This is I think you're you really got you got star power, kid. I want to hear this. What do you got? It's tragic. And it's ruthless. I love a good story. I was I was but a humble farmer. I sold my fruit at the within a cart in the city of Magecroft. I was a good a good guy. I had a family, and all of that was taken from me the day that this one wizard came to my cart. He took everything from me, he transformed me into this because he hated my joke. My wife left me, my children tried to eat me. And I've spent the past seven years training to become the most deadly, greatest banana assassin in all of Earth. I could, I could really use, you know. He's just waving you know, that knife around. <laughs> sir, I could, I could your use the story. credibility that being in your gang would help me to accomplish my goal of murdering that evil, evil Hiddlesby Tabernacle. Your story has moved me in a way no other story has ever moved me in all of history. I would be honored to have you join my gang. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for finally someone taking me seriously because I'm deadly. Seriously. I'm deadly. You, I'm, I'm seeing that knife and I'm a little, I'm a little <laughs> nervous and I'm a badass. So do you I'm have a name? Man. I'm a desperate banana, banana assassin. My what name? I, I said I, I, I'm a I'm a desperate banana. My name you are is Yondrick Olivier the Third. Yondrick, would you join my Legion of Gnome? It comes with a hat. <gasps> oh, thank you. <laughs> I actually had a lot more hats than that. <laughs> I would be honored to join the legion and together we will bring that which others deserve to them this is good oh slippery steve and a banana assassin <laughs> it's like we we're made for each other i'm feeling the love oh that hat looks good on you <laughs> thank you I wear it with pride. This is amazing. This is, <laughs> <laughs> this is great. I love the Nat 21 Adventures, everybody. Nat 21 Adventures. <laughs> this, is, I, this is gonna change everything. If I it's if good. I agree to help you, do you think that maybe, you know, while we do whatever it is that Legion of Gnome does, that maybe, you know, somewhere along the way we could kill that bastard that did this to me? Absolutely. It's awesome. going to be like number like three on our list of like evil things to do. Number one, uh, everyone on that list that Thecla gave me to kill. Number two, wait, number one, taking back my old really swanky mansion. Number two, killing everyone on that list that Thecla gave me. Number three, going after that person that did the thing. I have waited seven long years as it is. I yeah. can wait longer. We I are 100% doing it. Yeah. Number three. It's number do, three. On the, do you want to know? Do you want to know why he did this to me? Go on. Go on. Ask me. Ask me why. Why? Because as a dad that I was, I, uh -huh. I thought I was a funny dad. I like to make jokes. I tell jokes to my customers as they're trying to decide what kind of fruit to buy. And so I told him this joke. I said to him, knock, knock. Who's there? Banana. Banana who? Knock, knock. Who's there? Banana. Banana who? Knock, knock. Who's there? Orange. Orange who? Orange, you're glad I didn't say banana. I really am. 
Well, he wasn't, and he did this to me on the spot without even any thought or consideration for my life. Oh, what a jerk. I tell you what, you are so going to be perfect for this job. You've got the rage that can only be contained by the thick, pithy skin of a banana. I'm so angry. Yeah, you are in the right. You are in the right legion. All right, we're doing this. So uh, step one uh, was to take back my old mansion from that vampire dude. Are you in it? All right, here's the plan. You're going to knock on the door. And when he's like, wait. Uh, there, there are like four other people who are, who are apparently oh, the, yeah, uh, yeah. The, uh, the champions all kind of showed up a little late. Uh, but they, okay. they just showed up. They're down there below in the street. Um, okay. You would do you, you like, want to help me pick? Uh, see if any of these other guys got what it takes to be in the uh, League of Gnome, Legion of Gnome. I'm, I'm here. I am here to be your right peel. All I right. Uh, wouldn't that be the second banana? Second banana. Second banana. I like it even <laughs> better. Right. Let's do this. All right. Who you got? Uh, well, there are actually um, two gnomes and two halflings, uh, of, um, mm. and they are all from the champions. Uh, they are um, they, they're all kind of rough and tumble little uh, little orphans, and and uh, uh, mm, there's well, let's see, there's Matt, there's Mike, Matt, Joey, Mike. I've got hats for all of them. Hold on a second, Matt, Mike. Joey, who else and we got? Lex. And Lex. Okay. So here, I got this great idea. <clears throat> I'm going to give them some gold. And I'm going to say, you guys are going to be junior members of the Legion of Gnome. Huh? You get a free hat. Hats Ooh. for everybody. Here you go. Take a hat. You get a hat. You get a hat. You get a hat. Okay. So this is great. Hats for everybody. You look good. Looks good on you. Here's what you got to do. All you have to do is these little tiny, uh, little tiny tasks. You just do the thing. Nobody gets hurt. You don't get hurt. It's fine. It's like little errands. You know, you like errands. Yeah. You like cash. Errands, cash, cash, errands. Okay, here we go. Uh, go get, uh, here's some gold. I want you to get some cookies. I want you to stick them in a box, right? And then kind of wrap it up really mm -hmm. nice. And then I want you to go door to door in the vampire district offering to sell cookies. But you've got to actually, if you really just want to go to this one house, just go to this one house and knock on the door and try and convince them to buy the cookies. That's your job. That's all you got to oh, like, do. Like we're having a bake sale. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly like you're having a bake sale. And you can have it be benefiting the uh, <laughs> the Legion of Gnome. Great, great. Which uh, helps employ young Short people, yeah. Slippery Zoo, give me a perception check. I can do that mm -hmm. with if I look it up. Boop, 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 yes. Perception. Uh, boop, boop. Oh, need. that's 26. <laughs> All right. You, Slippery, can tell that this Lex halfling has got an eye towards the evil. And while the other three seem to be blatantly unnoticing that anything could possibly go wrong here, Lex is like asking the right questions. And so you he, guys go on ahead. Actually, Lex, if you could stick behind. Lex, I want to make sure you get the red hat. Yes, the red hat. I'd love the red hat. Wait, I think my red hat is over here. Hang on. <laughs> Or whatever color hat Paul has. <laughs> Don't. I mean, is the red is the red hat the same as a red shirt? Because uh, no, it's... no. Oh, no, where is it? So, uh, so evil, huh? What do you think? I, I'm here for it. Slippery. Oh yeah, uh, red hat. There you go. Nice. Looks good on you, Lex. It fits. So, it fits. <laughs> Lex, you get another mission. <laughs> Lex, 
Hi, uh, we have a list of people that we need to have conversations with. Uh, when you say conversations, gonna... you mean conversations. I said what I said. Tell me more. I want you to find the first name on the list for me. Mm -hmm. Do not engage. Just find them and tell me where they are. Just so we could ex uh, expedite the uh, conversation. Did I just do that? Oh, sorry. It's a, I don't know where this is coming from. Conversation. Funny ears. <laughs> Funny ears. That's right. So I, Lex, I'm getting Lex. a little extra cut, right? Lex, darling, you get an extra dagger on the table. <laughs> cut. And I give him a dagger. Yeah. Yeah. Just okay. a conversation. <laughs> That's all you all you had to do is just find them. You don't need to have interact with them, but just keep an eye, track is their movements, and let me know where they are. That's all I need. Excellent. It's, it's easy. It's nice and safe work. It's safe work. Yes, and because you can tell he is that kid that was like <laughs> he was that kid that you know kicked <laughs> the dogs, did all the uh, you know uh, you know he he was that kid who was like. Yeah. Don't, oh. don't be turning good on me now. <laughs> so, so sorry. I don't want to be yeah. evil. All right. Come on. Get it together. All right. Come on, Nana. We are I'm ready. It's, it's going to it's, have a conversation. Yadrick. Yadrick? Yadrick. Yadrick or Olivier the Third, Banana Assassin. All right, Yadrik. Let's go visit my old friend, Endrik, Grey Lord. He's uh, oh. hanging out of my house. So meanwhile, the kids are going to be knocking there. I happen to have lived there before. So I am assuming I know all the sneaky ways in and out. Oh, yeah. And as oh. a high-level thief, you made sneaky ways to get out in That's and out. That's true. I would have done that. Mm -hmm. And you know that I can slip in just about anywhere. <sighs> yes. Well, this one's going to be a pretty easy... Uh, entering. I'm not going to say breaking because it used to be my house. So legally, you know, I'm sure I still have some claim to it. Let's go check out this house, shall we? Right. You make your way. Uh, what time of day would you like to be there? Um, day. Day. <laughs> All <laughs> right. You make your way to the creepy garden district, the place of very large, fancy houses, very old owners who seem to have owned these houses for far too long than any human should live way too long are there all vampires yes yeah i know that's who i left the house to right the guy was a vampire total vampire so this Every entire area covered in vampires as they say the one thing you don't like about the, whole, the creepy garden district all the damn vampires so <laughs> A little bit of goody. All right. So uh, you make your way over there. It's during the day, so no one is there um, except for a few wandering, um, a few wandering creatures that are thralls of most of the vampires. And boop, 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 boop. They're, you know, they're wandering around. They're on missions of their own. Uh, they're not really going to pay attention to a gnome and her banana, I guess. And a few halflings and Two gnomes wandering, just going wandering door around. to door to sell cookies. That's all. Little right. bake sale. That's all. So while so, they're just making uh, drawing attention to the front of the house, mm -hmm. I hope to be going to the uh, back of the house. All right. <laughs> See the running of the hell house. That's right. Oh, you know. <laughs> That's a good here. Let me uh, put that one up on the, the screen there. Does she so, see the running of the hellhounds? I would have to actually do some math to see if these time if it matches up, but I think that she was this would be in time, this would be slightly before the running of the hellhounds, uh, which was probably four days after this moment. Mm. So it hasn't quite happened yet. However, it's on the same street. So, as a matter of fact, yeah, well, information that I can't relay right now, but as a matter, as a matter of fact, mm, he says, mm, banana. Mm. Banana! 
<laughs> All right. So come on, Eldrick. We're going in. Uh, check the uh, the little secret panel down out by the garden. K -k -k -k. Is it locked? Is it open at all? Well, this one, you realize somebody has put a slab of stone in front of it. But you are not. <laughs> you didn't just put one secret entrance. Oh, no. You're like, oh, but good to know. I made a little a quick roll to see which one you went to first to see if you'd know. <laughs> and I was like, okay, so either like on her way out, she has to, she runs out of the, of the other one and then runs into a brick wall. But no, I rolled and turned out you ran into the, the one that was sealed up. So lucky you. Now at least you know that you'll have to get out the way you came in or out through a window or something. Anyway, but um, you're like, Huh. Hmm. Some remodeling has happened since I was dead. So that makes sense. That's what I would do. Yep. So you go over to the other secret panel, and it is still there. The little gargoyle face where you take the head Stick and my you... finger in the, yep. the thing and tickle mm -hmm. the back of the throat. <laughs> and then the gargoyle throws up. And <laughs> the door opens. Uh, <laughs> tongue comes out of that. Hey, hey, banana. That's uh, you, that's why you do it that way, because no one's going to stick their finger down the throat of a gargoyle, because you never know. See, they're going to assume that it's going to eat their hand. Exactly. So you just go, throw up, and then... That is weird. Banana. That is disgusting, and I would not have expected such a weird thing to happen. Yeah. No, it's smart. It's smart. Nobody expects it. All right, you are basically in the basement of your old house. And it's okay. dark. And there is absolute stillness. The smell of earth. Oh, oh sorry. Did I say earth? I meant the smell of ert is all of right. <laughs> yep. Freshly dug grave ert. <laughs> hmm. And, now, the uh, question, hmm. Banana Aldrich, is do I want to take out my friend who I willed the house to? Did he Did he do you wrong? Well, no, he's just in my house right now. Is he in your way of accomplishing your goals? Not yet. I could get another house. Actually, let me check this one. I wait for a little bit until I hear someone knocking on the front door. Okay. Uh, yeah, you indeed hear. And uh, and then you you hear. Um, okay. And muffled conversation. While that's happening, it um, I go and I try to find uh, one of my secret stashes of, <laughs> you know, passports, whatever, contraband, and any special magic items that I would have hidden away. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Where is that? Well, you, you do know that you, you left a stash in a secret compartment in the basement. That was, you were pretty sure nobody would mess with. It was a fairly basic thing uh, that, you know, just a piece of a column. And then in that column, you know, um, hard to detect. You put some magic um, ciphers on it so that no one would mess with it. And if they did, they would get blowed up. So there you are. It, you're, you realize that time has passed. And that, although you're like, oh, I probably there's secret maneuvers to make it slide over and peel back. Oh, I know how stuff. to do it. Hold on a second. No one's going to do this. Stick it all, like get it wet with my spit and see if that makes it open. <laughs> well, you are not the person you were before. So that doesn't quite work. 
Oh, I'm going to have to pick this. Hold on. There is a thing I, I thought of that I should do. This is a, a spell that Kazu has that uh, I'm going to try. Mm -hmm. It is a, I'm going to make a ward uh, on their uh, uh, glyph of warding mm -hmm. on the, the, where the, the vampire is. So if, if they wake me up before uh, or if he wakes up before I'm ready for him to, uh, they will get damaged. Okay. How about that? You are assuming, uh, so the room you're in is, is full of some furniture and things like that, but you are assuming that the vampires are actually in another room in the basement. Uh, you're you're assuming that. You don't know, though, for sure. Okay. That's, that is correct. So but... Maybe but, you, could, you could ward the the archway between these yeah. two rooms. Uh, and that yeah. way, if anyone comes in there... Let me do um, that. Okay. So, Fire woo. damage. Very well, very well. Vampires hate that. Um, That's pretty cool. <laughs> <sighs> Did so the banana disappear? The banana disappeared. No, banana's right there. Oh, then the banana disappeared. Then the banana came back. Oh, okay. Yeah, that sorry. Helps. The banana yeah, screen froze for me. All right, so. I'm just really sneaky. <laughs> I will. A banana smoothie. Oh my god, that's that's really good. Thank you, Max. <laughs> now I want to see. Right. Um, I'd like to open the my stash, please. All what right. do I gotta do here? Uh, you are gonna actually need to make a really good sleight of hand check. Now you are you are aware because you are the one who put the ward, uh, or you had the ward put on it, uh, that it is no longer there. So in the past three hundred years, someone made an attempt to break into this, and it is gone. Someone got a face full of fiery magic ward, which is great. But hmm, hmm, hmm. can I assist her with this? Uh, well, you can use maybe some of your banana smoothiness. <laughs> uh, it is, it is rather, uh, like, like the piece in the column. It's, you can tell that, you know, the 300 years, what's ended up happening is that that column has had some weight on it. And that, that makes piece, sense. Yeah. The piece that would have slid across is not going to slide. So. Do sell cookies. <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh, yes. So, banana, give her a give her a, a d twenty uh, assistance roll as well. Nineteen. <laughs> Nineteen. Nice. What did you roll, Slippery Zoo? So I rolled an eighteen plus thirteen. So uh, two, three, thirty-one. All right. Together, you do manage to crank that piece of wood. <laughs> I'm uh, uh, oh, sorry, piece of stone and slide it. And you're like, eh, no, without trying to make too much sound. Here, yeah, let me uh, use some banana lubricant. <laughs> yeah, pretty much used a little banana lubricant to uh, get it on there. Banana lubricant. And I'm there, here to learn all of my skills. Your beautiful prized possession. The thing that Klaxor was like, you can't use it, it's evil. It makes us look bad as a hero team. You gotta do away with it. You told him you did away with it. You told him you trashed it. You told him you burned it. You broke it in half and threw it in a lake. <laughs> you did all the things. It's your beautiful poison cobra bow. That's right. Now my friends, if you'd like to see all the stats on this co cobra bow, you can look up Eisendor's Vault of Tragic Treasure. That's right. It's a wonderful magic item inside the vault. They are having their Kickstarter. It's going to start in April. So we're one month away from the Kickstarter. You can go to the link and uh, and and get a and up. Uh, sorry, click on the link and you will be notified when the uh, when the Kickstarter 
launches and you can get your copy of Isendor's Vault of Tragic Treasures. There are over 200 magic items, unique, awesome, killer magic items uh, and uh, and also all the stats for them. There's an adventure inside it as well. And one of those magic items is this beautiful kick-ass Cobra bow. Uh, Cobra no mercy. This bow is too beefy to have in the regular game, but I asked Paul and he said, yes. Yes. Oh, yeah. Now this bow is sentient. I pull the bow out. Mm -hmm. And I feel, and I should have had a bow, but I don't. I pull the bow out. See, so yeah, it's I'm, I, I'm I'm the bow. I have a hood. You're the bow I'm now. Yeah, you definitely look like a bow. You're like bow tastic. Okay, and I feel, I feel the, the it's still warm, but it's kind mm. of got like a cool clammy feel to it. I can almost feel it moving underneath my hands. The bow says, where have you been? Dead. How do you know it's me? I can feel your presence. You're not wrong. It's me. Something is different. Oh, yes. I'm a gnome now. Hi. Stranger things have happened. You're a bow and you're here. You're really here. I could never quit you. The way you inspire me to do just the woo, the best stuff. So, Bo, are you ready to to get it on? To do things? Always. Oh, I guess I could have said speed. Certainly. <laughs> Always. Oh yeah. So. <laughs> All right, that's uh, that's number one off the list there. Okay. Now, are, what's going on upstairs? Uh, you are well. Uh, you you hear some vague talking. Uh, you're you're not sure exactly what's happening. Uh, you def definitely hear. Uh, Someone is is like. Uh, eventually, that you hear the door slam, uh, and someone is walking around upstairs. Hey, Yeldrick. Yeldrick. Yes. What do you think? I mean, I I'm feeling a weird like hesitation about just killing the person upstairs? I should kill him, right? I mean, I don't see why not, unless you think they're gonna, like, help yeah. you. Uh... Alright, I'm gonna go upstairs. Okay. Uh, you walk your way through the basement. There's a staircase up, uh, which you mm -hmm. know ends in a door that opens into the main hall. Okay. I mean, I did get what I wanted. Why are you having this conversation with me? Yeah, I don't know. I'm just going to kill him. And then I don't care. I'm going to do it. Are you talking to me right now? Yes. Yes, <laughs> I am having a conversation. She's not talking to me. <laughs> uh, what? <laughs> okay. Uh. <laughs> says the bow. <laughs> like, okay, okay. I mean, wanna, I think you should fight? kill him. All right, let's do this. Yeah, I think we should kill him too. I don't even know why we're having a conversation. Let's go. Um, I pull the bow. I draw it. Okay. Um, uh, Yodra, get the door. Got it. <laughs> you leap up. Door's kind of heavy. <laughs> <laughs> you eventually get the door. <laughs> it does work. Uh, uh, uh. All right, Yeldra, get the door. Okay. All right, the door is open. All right. We go, uh, and I stealthy go, uh, and I'm getting ready to... Oh, here. I'm invisible. <clears throat> I invisibility myself with my cloak. 
which mm-hmm. I still have. Do, 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 invisibility cloak. But I have my bow drawn, my bow of poison. Mm-hmm. All right. And uh, I come around the corner slowly. Okay. What do I see? And there is a, a person kind of hunched over eating a couple of cookies. <laughs> um, I will. I will. I will let go of the damn arrow. I will let go of the damn arrow. You're Just right do there. do it, man. I let go of the arrow. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, surprise. <laughs> Thump. Uh, all right. Well, you know what? I'm going to make you roll because Kazoo yeah. is fighting. You're going to have disadvantage. <laughs> Uh, although it's probably going to be a pretty easy shot, but you do get disadvantage. Okay, what's my what to see? hit on that thing? Uh, alrighty, let's see. So uh, I already have a plus eight, so plus three. So I, I rolled a three and an eight just while we're doing numbers here. All right. And that bow is plus three. And my to hit with the short bow is eight. So that's, uh, so three plus 11. Wow. It's 14. <laughs> you're like, you're like, and Kazoo pushes you over. You, you release it just in time to slice him with the arrow through the back. <sighs> Ouch. So yeah. And because it's a sneak attack. Oh yeah. That's even more bonuses. Oh, yeah. With the mm-hmm. famous sneak attack. So uh, let's see. That does an additional 46 damage. The bow does. Oh, uh, auto fail shot. Oh, oh. <laughs> he threw it in there. Oh, oh wow. that's because it pushes you just enough over. Ugh. And the arrow thunks into the wall on the other side of the room. And ah, the person spills his cookies. And how did how did you get in here? I live I, here. That was a warning shot. Did this is my house? That was a warning shot. You need to leave now. Well, how? No, my master lives here. Oh, master is here by my will alone, and you need to leave, or else. You will be dead. This is my house. The master is staying here at my pleasure. So this, you're actually technically, I technically I'm your master now. Has I'd he like seen? A, has he seen uh, Yadrick yet? Uh, no, he is not. If I need uh, to make Yadrick would like to stab him. <laughs> <laughs> okay, with your massive twenty speed, you actually get all the way over there. Yeah. <laughs> And you <laughs> jab him with the knife. Go, <laughs> go. God, that knife is so scary. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, I gotta, I gotta roll. <laughs> uh, that's a seventeen. I don't know what to add to it though. <laughs> a seventeen. Ah, go. I mean, you stab him right in the shin. <laughs> oh, and that ah! beefy, that meaty part of the calf. Oh, that hurts. Yeah. Master, master, who are these people? Uh, he had started to back up, try to get okay. up the stairs, and he stumbles. <laughs> uh, he- All right, I'm going to take another action and hide again, because that's okay. what Flip Steve does, and it's a bonus action that I get to hide as a rogue. Mm-hmm. Um, and then I will draw my bow again, and whenever I can get another action, I will shoot. For real. Okay. Um, he cries out, Master, Masters! Who's someone? And uh, yeah, you can get another shot. Um. <laughs> yeah. So what did I say is the, uh, I need to have this all in my, I mean, you have eight. a plus 11. <laughs> yeah. So that's a 21 unnatural. <laughs> so yeah, he doesn't have any armor on. He's just a guy. 
he does. He is, however, not surprised. So you do not get the backstab damage. Uh, it's just a regular sentient poison bow damage. <laughs> yeah. So that'll be. Is it under 20? Just. Okay. You do not manage to kill him, but you put him, put an arrow right in him. Just hold on a second. So, uh, burr, 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 burr. takes an additional 3d8. Oh, no, it's an additional four. So, let's see. That would be mm -hmm, 11 damage total not sneak attack yeah uh right. no wait oh, i'm sorry got another thing 11 12 13 13 damage <laughs> he was not surprised he was totally expecting tiny <laughs> sentient banana damn i mean who isn't who is it listen yeah. this is the one thing you're gonna get from watching this show okay you'll be ready for anything that sentient banana comes up to you and you're like no you know don't give him an opportunity to stab you kick him Speaking of, all right, uh, he's like, ah, master! And, <laughs> I mean, you seriously put an arrow in him. Uh, it is pretty short oh, range. Oh, wait, it could have been sneak of damage because he was engaged in somebody, with, in combat with somebody. Up yeah, he's up against the stairs, though, so it's not flanking all or anything right. like that. All so. right, all right, um, all right. So, uh, that is when outside the world goes dark. And you feel a power sink around you. Your arms get heavy. Uh, even your <laughs> Yodrick's spindly little arms feel heavy under the weight of anything you're carrying. And you see a light above you and hovering off the ground just by, uh, just by a foot because he doesn't feel like actually walking. <laughs> is... What appears to be your old friend, Enric. Oh. And he just Hi, Enric. Hey. hovers over the, over the balcony. Hi. And he gives I'm... a weird look. Who are and why do you have the what? And I think it's time for confessions, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> Starting with Slippery Zoo. Uh, this is the best thing ever. It's like I get a second chance, which I totally knew was going to happen when I agreed to do that whole like, hey, put your life essence into this thing and then go get dead and then come back and like, you know, Klaxor, the mighty hero, whatever. And, uh, but no, this is way better. I did not expect it to go this good. I'm a gnome. And it's like, I can go anywhere and do anything I want. Love this. Oh yeah, that was cool. That was cool. <sighs> yeah. It's been so hard all these years trying to accomplish my goals on my own. I'm so glad that finally someone has a accepted me for the nasty banana assassin that I am. This this uh, slippery zoo, I think, is going to make a great partner. Not sure why uh, they hesitate to kill so much, but, you know, maybe we can, we can have a talk about it. We'll practice killing. We'll, you know, do some backstabbing and assassinating as we gear up for our bigger assassinations. Yes, this is going to work. Well, being a sentient bow has its privileges. I've been locked away for an awfully long time. It's good to have Slippery Steve back. I don't know what's going on, though. He seems reticent about shooting me as often as he used to. He just used to use me for everything. Uh, maybe I just randomly go off once in a while. I'm sure it'll be fine. Yes. <laughs> um. uh. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't want to do this anymore. This is not fun. This is not okay. This is not getting me to see Ayala again. Somebody let me out of here. Although these gloves are kind of nice. Let me out of here. Let me out of here. I don't want to go home. I want to be. 
they don't want to be human. Yep. All right, my friends. This is Sunday Side Quest. We do hope you've enjoyed this show so far. We're going to get right back to the adventure in just a moment. But first, we do want to say a big shout out to our sponsors, Turtle Creek Coffee and Eisendor's Vault of uh, Tragic Treasures. They actually are starting a new thing called the Mag of Holding. It's a monthly magazine that they are producing all sorts of content for your homebrew game, magic items, adventures, monsters, all sorts of cool things. So you can check that out as well. From the makers of Isendor's Vault of Tragic Treasure, it's the Mag of Holding, which, by the way, is a brilliant name. Also, my friends, uh, we're going to start a new thing. Speaking of Mag of Holding, well, we have the Mailbag of Holding, and you can actually uh, send... We've had some people asking if they can send us things, and I say, yes. And you can send us... I will actually put the address in the comments in just one sec. Here we go. But yeah, you can send it to Nat Twenty One Adventures, uh, and uh, and you can and we'll use it on the show. I don't know, whatever it is. So send us things. We'll pull it out of the magical mail bag of holding. So, but now it is time to return to the adventure. Oh yeah! Hey, there you are. Hi, it's good to be back. Aha. Uh -huh. so, uh, yes, sorry. I realize I look a little different right now, Endrick. You uh, did a pretty decent job of taking care of my house. Wait, your house? What do you mean your house? Who are you? How do you know my name? Early. Surely you realized it was just alone when I left you this house in my will. I thought I was pretty clear that I would be coming back for it. Hmm? Slippery Steve. That's Is right. That... Ah. Don't I look good? Come on. Aren't you a little short for a thief? <laughs> Are you kidding? This is amazing. Being a gnome, I can come and go as I please. No one's going to think twice about a little gnome. We're so sweet and innocent. I've even got rosy cheeks. What is that? <laughs> yeah, this is my house. Get out. Get, get out? But you, you can't kick me out. I, I, I own this house. You, I, you, you can't just kick. I can. Would you like to leave voluntarily? Look, 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 Steve, there are rooms here. There's a number of extra bedrooms, you know. Take, take, you, uh, you, you can have the servants' quarters. He won't be needing them very long. Servants' quarters? Servants' quarters? And the guy on the stair goes, I won't be needing them. What do you mean? Servants' I kick him. <laughs> Sir, I stand on him as I go right up. I'm actually climbing the stairs so that I can be on the same uh, height as uh, this floating vampire dude. Mm -hmm. I don't think so. You know what? There might be a guest room in the basement for you. But I would like to have at least my own room back. I don't think that's unreasonable. Do you? I'd like to roll a persuasion <laughs> <laughs> or an intimidation. Your choice. Uh, you are actually going to have to make a save right now. Mm -hmm. oh. Ooh. This is a wisdom save. Uh, 21 unnatural. All right. Unnatural. Unnatural. Not a natural. He gives you a very stern look, and you're not sure if he's trying to see if he could take you or not. Uh, he looks around a little uncomfortably. He goes, You will take the room I give you. Oh, 
is that how we're going to play this? Okay. Do I need to roll intimidation now? Damn it. <laughs> yeah, sure. Oh, yes. Uh, that'd be a uh, 22. Mm. It is not going to intimidate him enough. He is quite... He's, he's quite thrown off by your size and the fact that you've come back from the dead, actually. It's but he, because I'm short, I'm short he, isn't it? I can not intimidate. Yeah, pretty much. But he's like, he's like, mm, oh, all right. Frank gives throws in the plus five, which is just enough. He says, well, he says, wait, 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 wait. We can work this out. Look, you know. I'm a vampire. I can't just walk out the door. You know that. And uh, <laughs> I do know that. And so, so I, I will stay. I will stay. But mm -hmm. and I will give you your old room back. That's fine. It might just take me a little bit. I got to move. You know, I got I got my servant. I'm just got to move my coffin. I totally understand. I totally understand. There's room for you in the basement. I'll just I'll just take the guest room. That's fine. Mm -hmm. Would that be fine? Yeah. And then, I mean, I, I, I have I have a friend. I have a friend. I can't really just kick her out. You know what I'm saying? So we just yeah, it'd be really awkward if I you know. It's fine. The servant can go in the basement. I can. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Meanwhile, Yadrick is lying on the floor pretending to be a real banana. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> That's a nice hat. I like that hat. Why is that banana wearing a hat? I don't know. <laughs> so, uh, all right. So. <laughs> Ah, right. Reverend Tommy brings up a really good point. <laughs> mm, I don't know when it's fun. <laughs> so he's he he. Uh, right now, I'm enjoying making this very high level vampire dance, mm -hmm. which is giving Steve like this power trip because mm -hmm. in the real world, Steve doesn't know for sure that. He, they could take such a powerful vampire at this point. So Steve's talking a pretty big game, and Kazu yep. was like, <laughs> Right, and this vampire's like, I don't know what undead things you've learned. Like, I know I've learned a bunch of stuff in the 300 years since I've been a vampire. I was just a young, young vampire type guy just wandering around but now i'm pretty damn powerful but here's this guy just walking in the heck right all right let's do this i'll see you in the basement uh you move your stuff i've got some things i've got to do i'm working with thecla right now i'm, I'm sorry what did you just say working You're with thecla Oh, what I can mean, you tell me? Is she uh, still cool or is she lame now? Well, you know, after that party, I. Yeah, she keeps going on about some party. Kazoo thinks it was a great party, but. Yeah. <laughs> you know, after that party, she kind of slipped in the social standing of us undead peoples. And, uh, well. The committee decided that it was time for her to go and that she has some nice artifacts that perhaps we would enjoy. The committee? Who the F is the committee? Um, they are a group of like-minded individuals who have attracted quite a large amount of fine artifacts from all over the planet. They were really hoping for this one other one, something chalice, something, I don't know. They sound I don't know super happened. lame. They sound really lame. 
Well, I don't know. The committee. Come on. Honestly, what kind of bad guy name is the committee? Not like the Legion of Gnome. Come on. That's like. I thought you called yourself the Legion of Gnome. And, yeah, I mean, I'm sorry. Is there See, how here, much I Legion? got you this hat. I got you a hat. Here you go. You can wear this hat I, now. You, you want me to wear a gnome hat? Yeah. Well, you are a little tall, but yeah. No ah. one's going to believe no, no, you just wear the hat. You're part of the Legion of Gnome now. This is good. You're on the team. Yeah, wear the damn hat. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I made a vampire wear a stupid hat. <laughs> I rule. I rule. All right. So, Legion of Gnome. Yep. Uh, and this committee is super lame. And Thecla is no longer cool. But she's got a list of people for me to kill. And that is an exciting. So I'm going to do that. What, uh, hey, where does the committee live? We live up and down this street. Oh, you're in the committee. Okay. Uh well, uh, who's in charge of the committee? Maybe I can have a conversation with them. Uh, well, they're just uh, they're just on the next block over. Uh, if I have his I have his name handy, he tells you his name, <laughs> which I don't have currently on my top notes, but he tells you the name. <laughs> George person, <laughs> committee boss person. All right. Mm -hmm. So let's go kill some people. I mean, that was on my list of things to do. What the hell am I doing with my life? Why did I even just ask that? This is the dumbest thing. Uh, All right. I just, aside from me, who else is in this legion? Oh, yeah. I got this banana assassin. This guy's amazing. Hello. I'm sorry, what? Banana assassin. Hello. He's, He's, my, there. There. He's my yeah. second banana, which makes you number three. <laughs> Yeah, tough guy. Whoa, 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 what, 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 what is that? Nice it's hat, a banana. It's a they're very high mouth? in potassium. What's here? What, uh, they're what? good for you. I love that color. The big fan of that color, buddy. Yeah, but the green hat really brings out your eyes. Oh yeah, for me. Oh, I'll bring out your <laughs> eyes. What? Nothing. What was that? Nothing. Whoa, whoa, easy with that knife, fella. Easy, easy there. It's a vicious banana. You do not want to F with this banana. This banana will end you. I do All not right. have a lot of patience, buddy. My patience is wearing thin. <laughs> all right. All right. This is all about all the right. clamps. All right. Let's so, kill some people. Let's be bad guys. I'm all for that. Sure you don't want to join the committee? Well, I got to see a little bit about what they got going on. But first, I want to kill some people just, you know, to get, uh, just take that edge off, you know, really uh, just. Uh, all right, all right. Let, let let me move my things to the servants' quarters. We'll move the servants' quarters down to the basement, and we'll leave you the master bedroom. Yeah, the <clears throat> master bedroom. Yeah. You were always a good friend, Slippery Steve. You know, I, I take care of people who, you know, work with me. Right? I left you this house. It was a nice house. 350 whatever years. Mm -hmm. You had it easy. I've it's done street too, apparently. Yeah, I've noticed. Clearly, I didn't find all of your secret channels. Hmm. Hmm. Never will. Never will. Hmm. All right. Let's go kill some people. All right. So, Enric goes and he starts changing his furniture. Uh, what are you doing? Uh, I'm going to go find Lex. All right. And get what information I can about the uh, the people uh, number the people on my list. Who's the first person name on my list? Um. <laughs> All right. So there is a person named. Uh, All right, hang on, wait. <laughs> do do do. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, let's let's yeah. Back. Sorry, Sally. Lex is actually a junior member. Junior, because they you know so young, but 
aspirations. And uh, my vampire buddy, well, you know, we go way back. So, uh, all right, so, who like y'all? So there's a, a businessman named Borano, and uh, and he, as, uh, you don't really know too much about him. He just runs a some sort of business with, um, some maybe lawyer, maybe maybe actual like uh, legal documents. Uh, so, meh. Yeah. All right, let's go. All right. Uh, so what did Lex tell me? What's what's information that Lex has for me about uh, scouting out the place and the, the pattern? He, he seems to have a nice building and uh, a nice place of a nice office building. It's like, you know, three stories. Um, apparently, a lot of the biggest contracts come through. And of course, in a city that does not rely on any particular laws to uphold mm -hmm. contracts, this is one of those places that has contracts and people to back them up with and mm. people like really rely on this service to be holding down a like, like, Oh, if you had the contract made here, then it must be good. Uh, that sort of thing. So mm -hmm. aside from that, he just seems to be some ordinary guy. Okay. So, I will, um, Yodrik, uh, this is, this is going to be kind of a ninja quick operation. Uh, I'm going to stake out his place invisibly, invisibly. And then, uh, when he comes into view, I will pierce his brain with a cobra bow, arrow from a cobra bow, if I may, mm -hmm. if, if that's allowed. <clears throat> Are you... Uh, this, is, this is the type of operation that I've been training for. <laughs> Are you going to drop in? You're from there. Yeah. Well, I was going to shoot him through the window if possible. Oh, Ooh. I'm an assassin. I'm not a, you know, I'm not a hand to hand fighter. I've Are you like on uh, the other building across the street or? Yes. Yeah. Yes. And we know his, we know his, his schedule a little bit. We know when he's in his <laughs> office. Um, uh, if you can get down and open the window or I'll just shoot through the window. Uh, but opening the window, like if you tap the window, pretend you're a bird, make him come out. That'd be great. Absolutely. I ooh, can do ooh. that. Opens the window <laughs> right there. It's yeah. It's I've that. had a lot of birds try to eat me. So I know how to make mm. the sound that they make really well. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. So, I so you, Yodrick, you climb up the building and then get up to the second floor where his office is. And then Slippery Zoo, you're up on the on the roof across the street and you tap on in the window. In my little sniper outfit. In my sniper outfit. Yes, yeah, like a little ghillie suit. <laughs> it looks like the roof. <laughs> Which actually looks just like an invisibility cloak. <laughs> right? Uh, all right, so... Uh, you start making bird sounds, and he's like, <laughs> he tries to go back oh. to work. You make him louder, like, <laughs> he goes over. He's like, What is going on? He slides open the window, and he's like, He looks out there. <laughs> Wait, wait, wait. I have to see if he sees the banana. <laughs> he totally <laughs> sees the banana. Why is there a banana on them? Just a banana. And, uh, oh, man. Well, so the amazing thing is that arrow collides with some sort of invisible force that you can tell is around the outside of the building. But because it is magically plus three, it drills through the magical protection. Wow. And thumps this guy right in the head uh, with a jaw, just a jaw dropping massive amount of damage. Um, if it wasn't a plus three, that would not have hit. It would have literally just bounced off the, uh, the magical shell of the building. 
dude, this guy does the only legal contracts in the entire city. You don't think he doesn't have some serious magic protecting him? <laughs> but not serious enough. Because mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> his last words. Why is there a banana on the ledge? Is that a banana? <laughs> that a banana? <laughs> Yadrick's going to give him just one more stab just for good measure. <laughs> ah. <laughs> All right. Uh, he Bye. goes down. <laughs> What is All right. Doing? Some quick notes there, Yadrick. You did an amazing job. Uh, Thank you. Apparently, I, you know, that arrow should have been just a straight shot, but it did a little slow drill on that last bit there. Uh, apparently, this guy's got like magic words around the begin building. We need to definitely check for that beforehand. Uh, I have no Ooh. idea how to do that. That's good call. Oh, uh, yeah. hmm. Is there so that was, like can we get some sort of like divining rod or something that detects magic? Uh let's see. What does this stupid gnome have? No. Mm. No, but I guess I could try and fire a regular arrow first or something. I don't know. We'll figure it out on the next one. What's the next name on the list? Uh it is a Selrina Solis. And uh, Kazoo, you've heard that name. It is a wizardess who lives up in Wizarding Heights. Ooh, that's a tough one. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But we'll be invisible. You know what, Yandrick? Are you cool with like hanging out on in my pocket or you know on my back? Oh, or yeah. just uh, you know, like uh, try not to squeeze too much or something. Oh, I would never squeeze you. You're you're the best. You were the best banana I have ever met. Oh, thanks. Is that a banana assassin in your pocket? Or are you just happy to see? <laughs> Why not both? <laughs> Stab! <laughs> all right. Uh, all, all right. right. So, yes, this person lives. So we're gonna do room. cloak of invisibility, and I'm sure mm -hmm. magic users have all kinds of stuff to uh, to screen for that. Mm -hmm. So this is going to be a little trickier. Am I am I in her pocket now? Yes. So you, you can't like see me, but you can still hear me, right? Right. <laughs> All right. Ooh, hey. Huh? That might work. I don't know. That uh, that bard had a song that she used to sing. For invisibility, for it's stuff. It's really, really warm in here. <laughs> a little sweaty, you know? It's fine. How did that song go? You don't see us. You don't hear us. Maybe it was just the wind or something. So uh, that would be a suggestion song. But let's go with, uh, I'll start with the magic cloak or the invisibility cloak first, but mm -hmm. I am prepared to play the song if I need to. Okay. Are you, do you have a weapon out or are you? Well, if I'm going to be playing the song, I'm going to have yeah. the, the ukulele out. Right. All right. So she does live in a tower like many wizards and mage in Croft in the Wizarding Heights section of the area. And, um, yeah, she apparently owns a business of uh, of artifacts, uh, not necessarily magical, but uh, is kind of an art dealer of artifacts. And there are, yeah, so she's got a little business out there. It's It seems almost a little too kitschy to be a Wizarding Heights, but uh, from what you can tell... Does she spend time in the shop? Oh yeah. As as a shopkeeper, are mm -hmm. there a lot of people in the shop? Not too many. Not usually. Okay. Okay. Uh, and I don't think I have detect magic, but I'm sure that uh, I would not be able to tell anything there. I do have detect magic, but uh, I would not be able to tell if this person is. So I'm gonna uh, be invisible. I'm gonna hang out in the shop and watch for a while. With the banana in my okay. pocket, where the banana can see. Where the banana can see. All right. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, occasionally a couple people will come in. Uh, most people will just 
ask about certain ancient artifacts. And uh, every once in a while, somebody mentions Atlanteans. And, uh, and she kind of like, well, we have one thing here that we believe is from the Atlanteans. And uh, an artifact, a piece of a helmet that is possibly magical. And yeah, she goes on and on and on about it. And they Can talk about it. You hear me it. roll my eyes? I try not to roll my eyes too loud. I'm going to say Atlanteans, but uh, Atlanteans. And, <laughs> and they're like, ooh, ooh, yes. And you know, how much do you want for it? It's like 50,000 gold pieces. <laughs> right. So what about this over here? Oh, this vase, that's uh, 700 gold pieces. Great. I'll buy it. And then they, you know, like, uh, suddenly not so crazy expensive after they, you know, listen to this go on and on about the Atlantean chunk of a helmet, not a whole helmet, just a piece of a helmet. Um, so uh, when it's not too crowded in the shop, mm -hmm. I will see how close I can get to this person. Mm -hmm. So there's no, will... at a point, there's no one in the shop and it does seem to be a bit of a lull and she comes out and kind of dusts off a few things and, she stops. I, I let the banana you. go. Okay. And, and I encourage, I kind of nudge Yeldrick to kind of walk as a distraction. Okay. She goes, I know you're here. And she starts to I turn let around. Let Yeldrick go. Who, me? What? what? Oh, I'm just, uh, yep, I'm just uh, shopping. And then I backstab her. <laughs> <laughs> okay. While she's looking at the banana. <laughs> is that a banana? Is... <laughs> Dude, this banana is the best thing that I ever like. You are the best. I told you I'd be useful to your cause. Uh, all right. <laughs> Let's see if you survive this. Let's do this. <laughs> <laughs> What's great is have, everyone's last words are going to be, is that a banana? That a banana? <laughs> <laughs> that's what's going to go in the papers. That's, that's oh man, <laughs> that's what's going to piss you off. They're like, the banana gang. And you're like, <laughs> we're legion, we're legion of gnomes. Legion of we're, gnome, come on people. Banana gang strikes again. <laughs> Nobody knows it's a banana except nope, nobody. Because the only people that are surviving is nobody. Because right. this person's dead. If they see the banana, they're dead. Right. All right. So uh what has to so you are invisible and uh <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm trying to think if she is there's any way that she can possibly uh I guess just give me that uh, stealth roll. And uh, hey, that is a banana. <laughs> just give me that stealth roll. And so that's uh, a 13. Hold on. Uh, added 13. So a 19 yep. plus 13, that's what is that? Uh, 20, uh, 32, yeah. no, 32. You get the initiative. Uh, so basically, yeah, that's a uh, yelp. Yeah, she she's just like. Is that a banana? Stab! Hey, a banana. <laughs> <laughs> and then after after she goes down, Yandrick's going to give one more stab just for good measure. I love <laughs> it! Oh my god, an add 21. Add oh, 21 honestly, to the stab. No uh, brutal. Double stab. damage. Backstab. Tell me more. What's oh, the damage? Double damage. Yeah. Oh, um... So let's see, it's a 46 bonus. Let me roll mm -hmm. that. And I don't know what the base stagger thing is. D4 so. plus your strength or or dex. So five. seven plus uh seven plus seven plus sixteen. So that's twenty five. Three. 23 plus 5. And then uh, so that's 28. 7 plus 16, right? Oh, yep. yeah. Okay. And then doubled. Plus 
plus 10 to damage. Plus 10 more damage. (laughs) I love you guys. Uh, Doubled all of that. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. God darn it. This this wizard, it's not going to survive a round. Uh, All right. No, I don't want her to. What was that? That was total of, uh, that was like 70. Yeah, no, because it was 30. Two the four plus ten more is 40, 42 times two, eighty four damage. P- plus one That's more. Nice. That works. <laughs> Do you stab her before she hits the ground, Yadrick, or after? <laughs> uh, no, I guess it's, yeah, after she hits the ground. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Ah! All the way down. Ugh! Banana. <laughs> <laughs> I give I give Yadrick a little high five. Ding. Oh yeah. Ding. You're the best, the best banana. I don't know how I ever lived without you. You were way cooler than Klaxor. <laughs> yeah, Klaxor <laughs> sounds like a dick. Klaxor is such a dork. All right, just grasp the second name off the list. All right, who else? Uh. <laughs> oh man. Who's next? Uh, I am um, having the best time with you, Banana. You rule. <laughs> this is really this is the most fun that I've had since before I was turned into a banana when I had a wife and children who loved me. This is the most fun I've had since then. Yeah, after that, though, seriously, my wife yeah. left me and my kids tried to eat me. They could go suck it. I would never <laughs> leave you. I would never leave you. You Aww. and me, we're like best friends. We're like <gasps> best friends. Oh, so like weird. This song. Having weird, a best yeah. friend sounds really neat. I mean, we're Aww. just good friends. We're not like best friends. We're just good friends. Yeah, no, right. Yeah, that's. Yeah, don't yeah, make it weird. Don't make it weird, man. Don't make, yeah, it weird. No, don't make it weird. <laughs> no, we, you know, still might have to kill each other one day, but until then, you know, it's like it's, it's yeah, an alliance. Yeah. An alliance. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. best yeah. alliance. Oh, man, <laughs> why is this stupid best friend song stuck in my head? I've never oh. even heard it before. Cause we're best friends. I mean, it is kind of catchy. The yeah, third person is. on the list is a person named Captain Seabris. And dude, let's kill him. On a boat. Some kind of captain. Man. Turn, him. Um, turn him on his boat. <laughs> Go down with the ship. <laughs> okay. Where are they? Uh, well, they're at the docks, and uh, currently they're unloading some cargo. Uh, Captain Seabrus is probably at the bar. Mm. Um. Okay, so I am going to do a quick uh, another glyph of explosion glyph uh, on their boat. Mm-hmm. Uh, glyph of warding, and that will be 68. No, wait, is that what it is? 68... Uh, fire Which damage. Part of the boat. Uh, the captain's quarters, if I can get there. Or, uh, yeah, the captain's quarters. Right, give me a stealth check. <laughs> Just sneak aboard with your invisibility cloak. Oh yeah, I have my invisibility cloak with a banana underneath it. Like mm-hmm. if I can walk with an erect, uh, uh, you know, like sticking out straight out from my. Invisibility cloak, but no one will see it because it's invisible. <laughs> but I know it's there. I know it's there. So uh, let's see. Uh, ba, 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 ba. That's 20 plus whatever I get from my cloak. So I got 20. Oh, geez. All right. Oh, man. There is a moment of tension as you are getting up. One of the narrow planks, the, the bigger plank, of course, is being used. They're, they're unloading cargo. There's another plank that's just single person. And as you're like halfway across the plank, somebody else starts coming down the plank. And you're like, oh, oh God. Okay. Oh, God. Okay. And you do manage your gnomey ways that you're going to have to make some sort of acrobatics check. Um, Oof. Oof. Just no way to get around them aside from. I'll love 21 unnatural. Oh, nice. All right. So you kind of like sprint, leap off the side and cling onto the edge of the boat. And as the person walks by, although you do it wonderfully silently, 
and doesn't notice there's a lot of noises around there's cargo shipping there's all sorts of things so takes no notice of you slapping against the uh oh my god are you okay yodrick i didn't squish you did i yodrick oh, are you oh, okay Jelani threw an auto fail on the stealth oh Jelani wants me to kill everybody that's fair i'll kill you. and uh so i'm gonna I'm say just... that all right we're gonna just redcon that a little bit you did you were thought you were gonna make it and you bump right into the guy and appear oh he's hey what are you doing banana delivery for the captain banana delivery banana delivery for the captain potassium everybody needs potassium especially captains i'll go put it in his little uh in his room now i'll be right whoa, back whoa, whoa, whoa. hey it's the gnome banana delivery nobody says no to the gnome banana delivery and i i beeline it for the captain's quarters and okay, you are i definitely gonna get... have to make another uh another uh uh acrobatics check to get around him because because he, he's okay. it's a very narrow plank and you're only halfway across so okay i'm gonna do this Oof. <sighs> Oh, 20. A natural 21? No, just a unnatural 20. Ah, all right. So let me get... Bananagram for the captain. Bananagram. Yeah. He, you literally climb up and around him as he tries to grab you. And like, and you zing, and you get right come by on. him. Just going to drop this banana off in the captain's quarters. That's where it's going to come back. And he's, he actually starts me? shouting to everybody. They're like, hey, get that gnome off this boat. It's dangerous. And uh Yadrick's gonna look back at that guy and flip him off. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I've been uh, flipping me off. <laughs> so I'm gonna go right to the captain's quarters. How big are they? They're small, small little space, right? Uh the door is closed. I open the door. It is oh, it's locked. And I'm not gonna have time more, to pick that lock. More sailors are like, uh, excuse me, hey, hey, you can't you gotta get off this boat, lady ma'am, the uh, person. Okay, sorry about that. Uh I was just told uh, I was just trying to do my job, bananagram, you know? <laughs> banana gram for the captain. <laughs> Smile. Totally normal banana. <laughs> totally normal banana. Banana gram. Nothing says hey, like a banana gram. Hey. <laughs> yeah. The one that you the one that you ran into is, is coming straight for you, like kind of okay. just he's not running Thank at you, you, but he's have definitely a great day. <clears throat> have a great day. See ya. Bye. Bananagram. Tell Captain Bananagram. Nobody wants Bye. a bananagram. Are you kidding? Everybody loves a bananagram. All right, I'm out of here. I'll see you later. Bye. <laughs> Stupid no. <laughs> so you take off? All right. How many of them are there? Daggers uh, on the ship. How many of um, them are there? I mean, really? Oh, right at this moment, a bunch of them had just come back. There are fourteen total. Uh, All right. If you make a quick like number count. You're like uh, five over there, five over there, it's five over there. Uh, okay, you know, mm, yeah. But they are, they are moving back and forth across the ship now. There's five of them that are like on you and like you're kind of you know they got eyes on you the other 10 haven't really they they're just doing their jobs so they don't really notice but little... everything is within line of sight of everything right i mean and you're I, on I don't wanna, like if i let's say hypothetically cast a dagger cloud so it's a five foot square they're mm -hmm. in a kind of close proximity yeah, um, not all of them. <laughs> right but the the five that you were saying yeah. Now, would would the rest of everybody else see the five get turned into a pink mist? Yep. Eventually, yes. Yeah. That, well, yeah, they'll find the bodies, but would I still have time to get away? I'm trying to use my best judgment as an assassin. Yeah, as an assassin, that would be unstealthy and weird. Yeah. Gotcha. All right, I'm out. Okay, I blew my shot. Didn't quite make it. Damn you, Yodrick. I love you to death, but oh, I just couldn't. All right, we're going right to the captain. Okay. What happened? Got busted. Oh. Didn't wasn't able to pull the stealth maneuver. 
we were going to go set something up on the captain's quarters where he blew his face up when he opened the door. I thought that was going to be amazing. I wanted to, you know, diversify my kill stream. I didn't want just everybody to be dead by an arrow. It's fine. It's fine. All right. We're going to the bar where the All captain right. is. All Let's right. Well, once again, back at the Silver Ladle, uh, Big Mama's house. Uh, I like this place. There's a, there is a little, there's actually a corner of the bar that is on the second floor and it's called the captain's quarters. And it is part of the uh, back end of a ship was used to make this section of the tavern. And, uh, and it's like captains only please. And so like other uh, di diversify your kill stream. So, so cool. <laughs> 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 and uh yeah so so you walk around um and there's you know they're like oh it's like there's like five pirate captains all like chumming around in the har, 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 har. um there's a guy is, with who's a captain is, uh he's wearing a big red coat and there's a guy there wearing a big blue coat and he has a shark for a hand <laughs> so has what was his name captain shark right <laughs> what's the name of the guy i'm supposed to kill uh captain Seabrus. is eddie there is eddie there i'm gonna give you a percentage chance oh my god i just rolled up on percentiles i rolled a five so yup uh, uh -oh. Eddie Fastbuck, smooth talking <laughs> Captain Sailor, who's perhaps ex girlfriend Goblin. Uh, perhaps good. I don't Ooh. know if they're still dating. It I don't never, know. like, Things it never, weird. they didn't really dissolve it. They've just been sort of gravitating away from each other. Yeah. 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 So, and, uh, so yeah, he's there. Yeah. Eddie Fastbuck, played by, by the way, Ricky Tortuga, so <laughs> for one of our adventures. <laughs> I hope the he's Tortuga okay. twins. Yes. I hope right, he makes it out of this. <laughs> anyway, backstory that no one All ever right. needs to know here. So <laughs> I know. All right. So now we need to get him out of there. We need to get him into a private space. Uh, I need to get him away. So now we're gonna have to do some cool stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, banana distraction has worked for I us. I love a few banana times. distraction, but I am disinclined to go up against all of these captains at the same time. So I have an idea. I'm going to write a note uh, and have an unseen servant deliver it to the captain. Okay. Uh, the note is going to say... Um, I have your child. Meet me in the alley, or okay. something along those lines. No, oh, what's it? What does uh, it say? Because that's going to definitely <laughs> like. So, banana. Do you? Uh, so, Yodrick. Do you know anything about this captain dude? Uh, let's find out if I do or not. Oh, you have been living in the city for a while. Uh huh. So go ahead and roll a, a history knowledge. Uh, I got a, a eight. Uh, as far as you know, he's uh, he, he's a popular captain. He uh, works well. I got an even better idea. The note's gonna say, "Someone is breaking into your ship right now." Okay. And your crew has them. Mm. Yeah. Or, oh, oh, what if your crew has decided to mutiny and are taking your ship right now? I love it. Yadrek, that's great. Okay. That is definitely something sailing that without you. a pirate ship captain. ship sailing without you. <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely something a pirate captain would definitely know. I definitely want to know. Um, 
All right. Another good plus banana. This message rolled up in a little scroll, floats across the room. Uh, what do you do now as this message is being delivered? Um, I'm going to take position outside of the door. So this, as soon as he comes out the door, I will shoot him with a bow. Of the main tavern? Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, actually, right. out, yeah, like whatever the pathway, but the door that's closest to... The door he would exit to get to his ship, if that makes sense. I don't know how many doors there are. Right. There's a couple doors. There's a really, actually, a really long porch that goes all the way. It's a wraparound porch. It wraps around all the way. Uh, there are two exits... And from the way that you came, not the main door, the side door would probably be the closest from the captain's That's quarters the one. Yeah. to the uh, to your to the ship. That's All right, so I you're think. outside in the street, invisible. I'm gonna hopefully kind of be up on a roof on the uh, op opposite of the door. I'm gonna have the the note delay. Okay. All right. So are you gonna do that note after you get up to the top of the roof? Yes. All right. And is Yodrick coming with you? Should yes. I be on the ground to distract him? Yes. Yes, you should. <laughs> All right. Is so, that banana? So you you're... can stop him as he comes out the door. Yeah. All right. So you get Yodrick, give me roof. some high five because that is, give me some skin. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you are the <laughs> best banana. All right, let's do it. Uh, so you get up on the roof. Uh, actually, and then there's a, there's, it's pretty easy to get up on the roof uh, from like to get a good, Good shot. These are small one-story buildings uh, all around here. Uh, but there's a little shop that you're like, eh, nobody will notice me climbing up here, especially if I'm invisible. Um, I'm do, 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 invisible. Get a little, you're like, yeah, that one's got a little area you can sit on vaguely comfortably. Not, not terribly comfortably, but if it's soon, it'll be all right. So there you are up on the roof. Only It's only a one-story building, so you're not too far off the ground. Uh, banana at the door. And the note goes in. Uh, like literally a few seconds later, he comes running out the door. And I mate. Um, let's see. I'm gonna need he's gonna need to fail, he's gonna need to actually make a perception check. <laughs> he's kind of focused. On the uh, the I boat leaving without a trash can or something. Does he not see you? I roll a three. He does and he just you. he is he is trucking out the door, and you're like, I shoot him. Whoa! And he doesn't even see you. Oh, so does the banana get a sneak attack then? <laughs> That's what it sounds like to me. You can That's leave. What I would like so much for you to have. <laughs> The first hit on this one. I would like that. I would be honored. You may. You may. I first. rolled a 16. So plus whatever your hit is. Yeah. It's got to well, be like three. Plus three. Right. Uh, yeah. You leap. Yeah. <laughs> you leap off the trash can <laughs> and stab him. Go! Oh, what the? It's not a banana. Shoot him in the head. <laughs> Shoot him in the head. Give me the roll. And uh yeah. Oh, he is not coming back from that. Yep. Sorry, Frank. She was on the on top of the uh trash can, so she couldn't be stepped on unless oh, he knocked I in the trash can. But that. now there's a perfect opportunity for other things to happen. <clears throat> what just happened? So 15, 18 plus 8 is 26. Mm-hmm. All right. And I hit him with uh, my poisoned arrow. So as a sneak attack. Uh, and so that does an additional 46. And that also does. Uh, so that's 16 plus. Uh, 46, you said? 16 plus 5. I'm rolling damage now. Oh, yeah. Uh, it was a 36. 31, 36. Yeah. What? No, no, no. What? So 16 plus 5. Is I'm okay. rolling damage. I hit him, I'm assuming. No, yeah. I was, I was going to roll Yodrick's damage as well. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I need some damage oh, from that banana. 
three things sixes. I never thought I would say playing Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna need to see that damage from the banana. <laughs> okay. Uh, and gonna... yes, all right, all right. The banana will be the monster of the month. We're gonna have to come up with some stats. We're gonna have <laughs> some squirrel. We're gonna have some banana. The <laughs> like, what game are you playing? All right. <laughs> Um, so yeah, it, it's, so banana damage is like D4 minus one. <laughs> okay. And how many sneak attack D6s? 21 plus three. <laughs> oh, that's right. I rolled... a... Oh man. Yeah. Uh, I yeah. So I mean, sneak attack for, I don't know, for me at my level is 46. So I don't know. Yes. Yeah, so you'd get three D6. Okay. So that's gonna be the, the thirteen, and it's oh, wait, sorry. 12, 12 Because of my all right, nice. All right, what's what is our total number here? Because this is so she uh, the banana did twelve damage. Uh -huh. I did uh, uh, that's twenty one plus three poison, so that's uh, 24. 21, 24 Damage. Plus Ten to the banana, banana from Reverend Tommy. Should Thank be. you, Reverend. Nice. Tommy. I'm gonna say the banana does. Um, is the MVB MVB? <laughs> so <laughs> TJ is wondering if the banana does the same amount of damage as the squirrel. Uh, no, the banana does way more when backstabbing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. So what is it? What is that total? Plus ten. It wasn't a crit, unfortunately, but uh... so I did twenty four. So what is it? Twenty seven. Is that what uh, my final total was? No. Eleven. No, my final damage is twenty four. Right. Was it? Plus nope. Because it's a plus three. So twenty four, twenty five, twenty seven. Twenty seven was my final damage. Okay, and then and the banana did. 22. Uh, did how much? 22. 22. <laughs> All right. He is not dead yet, although he stumbles to the ground down the stairs ba -ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da onto the street. And the three other three other captains, or sorry, the four other captains are right behind him. Uh, One more Captain thing Red. I want to do with a special feature of this bow. Mm -hmm. Um. Oh, did we I get? I can, I can have it um, do a, a poison explosion. Oh, and it's a three D eight poison explosion, like to everything, yeah, so everything that's there. So, Yodrick, you're gonna have to make a save if you're okay. in that area. Oh, and uh, that so there was a banana crit. So double forty four. All right. Well, if he's still alive, if he's he is still alive, but barely. Even with the crit double. Yep. All he's right, he's right. like a fighter rogue. I mean, he's you know, and a captain, so he is you know. <laughs> so that's uh, six additional poison damage, mm -hmm. and I please don't die, banana. Please don't die. Please don't die. Please don't die. Please don't die. And anybody who goes into this cloud has to roll a save. I'm right. so, oh yeah, you have to make a constitution saving throw. I'm so mad it's that 17. I didn't make an actual character sheet for this banana because we're really <laughs> needing it. Just roll a d20 here. I will make uh, one in fact, for the future. Holy sh Okay. Oh, crap. I rolled a five. Oh god. All right. No! How, much, how much poison damage was it? Oh no. It's 3d6. And if you... um. Made your save, it's half of that, so it was yeah. six. So you get three points of damage, oh, but you didn't, so you right. get six points. Oh, made a save. Yes. So you get three, three points practice. of poison damage. Now get okay. the hell out of there, provide that. get the hell out of right. there. Boom, the poison explodes in the pirate's face. All the captains, literally, every single one of them failed their saves, not knowing uh, that anything was happening. They're like, Whoa, what happened? <laughs> Oh God! And uh, oh, make it's a very enemy. limited ability on that bow. I can only do it like uh, twice. 
right. before. Right. All right. Advantage on the banana. All to success. There we yes. go. All right. Get out of there, Yodrick. You're done. You've done your thing. <laughs> the banana starts Is running. Is guy still alive? Barely. Barely. And the other four captains go, Is that a banana? <laughs> As, as they're like, <laughs> what's that? So every round they're in that poison, they have uh, to roll um uh another they like get um they have to roll another save or they get more poison damage every round. Right. Oh they they absolutely like when it explodes, they're like, whoa, and they back up. They're not they're not going anywhere. Um and, but is uh, that guy that we hit still down? Is the he, captain? He, he, My he goal is, is not, for him to be dead. He is not dead right now. Uh, he uh, he gets he starts to reach into his pouch. I shoot him again. Pulls out a, a <laughs> potion, starts drinking it. <sighs> I'm not gonna make all of these easy. <laughs> uh, he regains a pathetic amount of hit points because when it matters, I can't roll for nothing. But he does regain a sum hit points. Um, all right, and and he starts yelling at the other captains. What happened? Where was that? Who was? What was that banana? And uh, and they 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 now they didn't see you shoot, uh, but they're all looking around and they pulled out their cutlasses. Captain Shark with it, pointing around with his shark, and uh, <laughs> and uh, they're you know they're they're looking around to try to see what happened. Says somebody shot me with an arrow, a po poison arrow. <coughs> ah, they're taking my ship. They're taking my ship. And of course, now everybody on the street is just like backing away. They're just getting away from the area. Um, you know, and some people are pulling weapons. Some people are preparing. Uh, some, people <laughs> are just, some people are just like, I'm out. And uh, yeah. oh, this is gonna be awesome. Mm. <laughs> Let me know when I can do a thing again. Um, you can now. You remember, you are visible. Uh, banana, yeah. where where did you head? Uh, into like uh, the, like the shadows. <laughs> mm -hmm. Into the shadows. Um, yeah. <laughs> Would you just give me a stealth roll? Uh, okay. All right, slippery zoo. I'm, what you got? I, I'm gonna toll the dead, so it does two d twelve. So, um, I got a uh, twelve sided die. Plus what? Plus what? Plus what the dex is. All right, you slide into the alley. <sighs> Shade away. You can't even see me. I can't even see you. Well, this is the cool thing. I'm going to do the Toll the Dead. Uh, no, you know what? Screw that. Dagger Cloud. Duh. <laughs> so that's 8D4. Here it comes, y'all. Dagger Cloud. <laughs> oh, my gosh. It's 8D4. Oh, Eight Jesus. 8D4s. And that is 17 damage. Okay. Wow. That's. Mm -hmm. Wait, only 17 damage? Well, yeah, that's what it is when I don't have like any kind of crit happening with this. It's oh, but yeah, I do. <laughs> oh, there we go. <laughs> There we go. Plus five. <laughs> five so 17. Damage. That's uh, 25. I'm sorry. Uh, um, oh, my God. Okay. So that's 27. That's uh, 32. 32 doubled. Mm -hmm. 32 doubled. He gets up and tries to run my ship. 42. <laughs> That's, we're up to 42 now. And that's doubled. Yeah. No, that that is with it being doubled. Oh, that's with it doubled. Right? That's yeah. that's quite enough. Okay. That's that'll do, kazoo. That'll do. That'll do zoo. <laughs> Yadrick's gonna run up and after he's already down, stab him one more time just for good measure. <laughs> <laughs> oh my 
my God. <sighs> Another five. Y'all are just bloodthirsty. I <laughs> Uh, you know, <laughs> it's it is possibly a very pink mist right at the door to this tavern. Like, well, if, if you're hitting the guy, out. he had fell down the stairs. Yeah, and, oh, he fell down uh, he was the out in the yeah. street. So, um, so you just drop it on him as he got up to try to get back up after he after you knocked him to the ground and he fell down the stairs as he gets up to run for his ship. <laughs> And then I will use my bonus action, which is mm -hmm. as a, a little TP I have, or and uh, hide. So back into my visibility cloak. Thank you. All right. Uh, the only person that noticed was Captain Fast Freddy, uh, and uh, Freddy, and he was like, "Hey," and and then you like whoop disappear. <laughs> Is that a banana? <laughs> <laughs> um, and then meanwhile, the, the shark hand is having a, like a blood frenzy happening. Ah, there's so much man. blood in the air. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, well, uh, you that one? stayed away yourself. Good and... job, Yodrick. How are you feeling? Sorry about the poison. Oh, it's fine. Just a just a little bruise. Uh, I'm I'm invigorated. <laughs> Is that a banana? <laughs> yeah, you're doing an amazing job. How many more people do we have on this list? Uh, that was there. Well, there was one more on the list, but uh, uh, you think maybe you should uh, get back to Thecla and at least let her know how things are going. <sighs> fine. Yazdrik, do you want to meet Thecla? That's up to you. Uh, yeah, that sounds that sounds pretty cool. All right, let's do this. Let's go have a conversation with Thecla. All right, that's a pretty good day, right? Pretty good first day, wouldn't you say, Yazdrik? Yeah, I I mean we accomplished I mean, all of our goals. Yeah. Lots of people are dead. Yeah, we yeah. have a new alliance that's really really neat for us right yeah i think we work together as a good team i think so too i'd like to give you promotion hey all right a promotion you've got you've got good appeal <laughs> <laughs> you know i appreciate jokes that was a good one <laughs> All right, what Thecla has to say? Oh, it's a fruitful. <laughs> <laughs> this alliance is quite fruitful. <laughs> All right, at the end of the day, and everyone else is eating in the warlock break room, I suppose. Uh, but Thecla's there. It's, it's a nice little hall, you know, and um, and she. She of course is not eating. No one, you know, everyone else is. Ha! <sighs> Cup, you know, she's she beckons you over there, you know, and uh, don't want to get a cramp. Mm -hmm. And she says, "What do you have to report?" Well, I've got my house back. Yay! I know we're all excited about that. Mm. Um. Let's see. I knocked out three of the names on the list. Pretty easy. Um, let's see. What else? What else? What else? I, I'm sorry. I, I, uh, I'm sorry. I'm totally distracted. Yeah. Is is that a banana? <laughs> hey, Becca. This, this is my. Uh, this is my number m number uh, two banana. It's your second it's my banana. banana. It's my second banana. Yodrick oh, Olivier, Yodrick Olivier the Third, uh, Your Majesty. What do we call her? Uh, ladyship. Ladyship. Yes. Yes. Banana assassin. Quite Is unexpected. Going anywhere with that, my banana assassin. Yeah. Quite, quite unexpected. I, I believe it. that's a interesting choice of alliances. Well, 
think, you know, I've always been an out of the box thinker. I mean, look at me. Yeah, it's fantastic. Have you been able to accomplish your goals? Uh, three out of four names on the list taken out. Uh, oh, yeah. And there's something about some kind of committee, which apparently they were saying that you suck. I'm just telling you what I heard. They said that your party was lame and that you suck. Mm, that's what I heard. Mm, the floor rumbles a little bit. Whoa. The committee has teamed up with one of our houses of warlocks. They have turned against us. And there's a bit of a fray happening now. Slippery, I'm going to need you. Now. Hecla, I know, would never have allowed it to get to this point. Are you slipping? I mean, you Am are... I antagonizing Thecla? <laughs> Maybe a little bit. <laughs> A little grumble as the ground rattles a little bit. Do not try my patience, Slippery Steve. You know that I need your abilities. I have my own. These turncoats were convinced that they could overthrow me with the help of their friends in the committee. Mm. But you are my friend, are you not? And you are ready to make it interesting and fun. There's a whole house of warlocks that needs to pay and feel my vengeance. And you, my little banana friend, you seem to have a lot of pent up frustration so much yeah that's a banana like... on the edge if I ever saw one I my little banana friend I can help you <gasps> how so but allow me to see that dagger of yours oh yeah here you go <laughs> she takes it and Ah, interesting. Have you heard of pixie knives? <gasps> and uh, she beckons another warlock and whispers in his ear. He goes off. Pixie knives. Razor sharp. Almost, almost invisible to the naked eye. Tiny, ridiculously dangerous in the right hands. And I believe you, Banana Assassin, have those hands. These are the right hands, your ladyship. Uh, and uh, a short, short time later, Warlock comes in with a little tiny chest. <laughs> <laughs> Opens it up and... Inside, you see like a handle, just a little handle, and you can almost see it's almost like you can't, it's like it's not there, but if you turn it in the light, you can see it. It's just, just a needle. And she says, Go ahead and try it. <laughs> and she takes some of the food from somebody else's plate and kind of lobs it into the air at, uh, near you. Uh, go just, you know, you take a swing at it or. Nice. Oh, it just, it like, it's so sharp. It's the sharpest thing you've ever seen in your entire life. It just <laughs> literally wow. doesn't even move the, the, like, you slice it and you're like, I'm pretty sure I hit that. And then, because it doesn't even move. And then it hits the ground and like breaks into two finely sliced pieces. It, you're just like, oh, 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 yeah. this is, yeah, yeah. Banana Ninja Assassin. <laughs> And then, then they yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now go forth and wreak some havoc on these jerk wads. They have <laughs> absolutely evil <laughs> banana. I love Thank it. You, your this ladyship. Is <laughs> this is great. She, uh, best team. 
she gives you um there one of the warlocks has also has a a uh, piece of paper she says i believe that i found their new hidings the warlocks have moved out into another house i think you would be the per perfect person to send them a little message hmm maybe i Very will little very little mm. <laughs> and yeah, um, yeah, the, the monster of the month is definitely gonna be the banana assassin with banana. a pixie, razor sharp pixie knife. Yeah. <laughs> this is great. Finesse weapon All right. extraordinaire. This is good. So are we gonna go kill this guy? Uh take him out tonight. Uh, is that, I, is that yeah. what's gonna happen? Yeah, let's do this. I just, I'm feeling this energy that I just want to burn off. Oh, I got a lot of catching up to do. Like my, this, this gnome's body count is like super low, you know? Like I can see anything. All right. Let's so see. you are, uh, Thecla gives one last little, like, be careful. I, I trust the messenger, but this I have not confirmed this message, so be wary. And at you know the the address, the place. All right. What's the address? Is this on that uh, on the same uh, space as my my house? No, no, it's in the kind of uh, it's not in the it's not in the upper nice part of town it's in the normal part of town but it is fairly close to the committee so you feel like perhaps this is you know somebody from the committee probably got these people um this place and this place is usually it's close to the docks and it's usually housing that for dock workers usually um so bleh, unknown <laughs> yep, that's a good idea. I'm gonna burn it. <laughs> <laughs> that's a, that me. is an incredible ability. It's, it, it's got to be wow. something like that. It's got to. <laughs> you can like peel off a little bit and like. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> oh my god! Totally doing that. All right. So, uh, like all right. So it is. It is. It is dinner after dinner. So it is nighttime. Um, Let's burn down the house. Let's burn down the house. <laughs> uh, so let me, a while. let me uh, let me go get some of those minions. Um, I'm gonna just kind of collect my minions up again, mm -hmm. um, best I can. I'm gonna go to the shambles. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm gonna get some of those minions. I'm gonna have the minions start. Um, Packing small bundles of oil-soaked kindling and just casually dropping them all around the place that I want to see go down. Okay. I mean, that's all you got to do is just take this stinky bundle of wood and just kind of tuck it somewhere, you know, and this address. Anywhere you want. Uh, all right. That's These fine. buildings on the outside do ha are made of stone and stucco. Uh, the roof's probably more flammable but the bottoms not so gotcha. much <sighs> i really wanted to burn it down can you get up on the I roof mean, guys you can you can throw them in the windows but that's pretty much you know like as soon as you do yeah, that that's it's gonna, gonna be yeah that's gonna all right fine uh let's scout out the house that's what I'm going to have my little minions do. Scout out the house. All right. It does seem so, it. it's nighttime now, so it's it's late. There seems to be a few windows lit. Um, not all of them. Not most of them. Just a couple. So probably some late night, you know, gatherings of uh, warlocking. We are totally warlocking. Is there, um, I am going to stealth in. And I'm going to tell you, I'll direct my plan. I think I'm going to stealth in. Uh, I am going to uh, set some explosive glyphs around 
the front door, the back door, that kind of thing. Uh, and then, uh, and then I'm going to set an actual fire mm -hmm. right in, in the house. And as people are running out of the house, they're going to blow themselves up on those glyphs and then we'll take out any stragglers. What do you think? Is that a, how's that going to, is that going to work for you? That sounds great. Do you want me to do you want me to be the one that sets the fire on the inside so you could be out ready waiting to crossbow them? I love this idea. I do. I really do. I really do. I would like to get as many people into a small five foot square. Yeah or channel them like if we could get them all into an alley what is the nearest alley i mean there's the this this house is uh you know it's like a it's a city house so it's it's there's no yard or anything like that it is uh street it's all the way house. around it yeah, yeah. Oh, so oh, okay you know there's an alley yeah, yeah. Minor is it is it a five foot wide alley probably yeah could be. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right. So I give a bunch of my little minions firecrackers and I tell mm -hmm. them to set firecrackers in the alley. Uh, and I create an illusion uh, in the alley of um, this is my new plan. I'm going to get them all into this alley and then I'll slice and dice them. What do you think? Works. Sounds good. Yeah. So get some firecrackers and I'll create an illusion. What would get some warlocks running? I don't know. Big pile of books burning. Uh, have they ever seen a talking banana? <laughs> <laughs> You're a surprise there. You're the surprise. So some like an illusion of Thecla. Oh, I just need the audio. I'll just make her making sounds because mm. I, I can have her voice there. All right. That's a good illusion. What do you think? So yeah. in the alley, you're going to do all this. And then where are you waiting? Uh, at one end of the alley or the other. All right. So no, wait, no, on the roof, on the opposite roof. All right, these yeah. buildings are like two and a half stories tall. And we don't tall. have much of an action cram, so. Yeah, it's uh, the only thing about being on a roof is that you, there's not much to see down from. You don't have a lot of angle. So, because uh, on the streets, so this building, there's a little alley in the middle, but then there's another building. The roofs uh, over the alleyway pretty much like, you know, so like, eh, if that's the that's the building that you want to be in, uh, that's the alleyway right there, and mm. so there's not a lot of with this tall building. Which one's Tecla's house? Which one's uh, the one, warlock house? This one's the warlock house. Okay, gotcha. And, and then yeah, no, I'm, I'm seeing here, warlock right there. Yeah, eh. Eh, drawing backwards. Eh. And go. what's on the back side of the warlock house? Well, there's a there's a pretty good sized street here. Okay. Yeah, I want them in the yeah. the less trafficked seat. And how many people did we decide were in the house? Was that discussed? I mean, there were a few windows lit, you know, because it's a it's a pretty big building. But you know, you're like, well, there's one one window lit on this side and one on that side, maybe one on the other side. Meh. Um. So maybe there's four. Um. Who knows? Oh, that's it. Just four. Lit. Yeah. Oh, but we don't know how many people. Can we like, mm, all right. <sighs> Yodrick, this is going to be a little bit more tricky. I can't just kill him. You know, I have to finesse this. I like a challenge. I kind of want to get him out into the alley. I really do. So uh, let me cast Explosive Rune uh, outside of each door. Okay. Okay. So that's two basic uh, exploding rune uh, burr, 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 called runes, glyph of warding. There's just two. Yeah, I have the spell slots for that. So it'll be 5d8. Um, I'll give them poison damage. They're mostly alive. Uh, 
right? 5d8. I'm trying to see what other kind of damage I can cast with that. Cold damage. That might be fun. Thunder damage. Even funner. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, you know what? I don't think I'm really capitalizing on this gnome's abilities. So a couple of glyphs. Front and back. Uh, let's see what else we got. Yeah. What do you need um, from me? I need you to go inside and tell me how many people are in there. Okay. I'm going to open a window. Let okay. this guy uh, in. Uh, you will then, have to... Uh, you will have to crawl. I mean, the windows aren't low. The windows are pretty high because this is okay. a city <laughs> and they have bars on them. But a banana will fit in. Gotcha. I weigh That's nothing and I can climb up walls and fit through bars. That's true. All right. You got this. Ding, 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 ding. How many people? All right. uh, you start walking around. You realize there aren't a lot of people here. There's. there's you walk around and you there are two people at the front entrance area, but the rest of the house seems to be empty as you wander around. Banana Lee. Banana Lee. Okay. Uh, report back. And Kazoo, where are you uh, in all of this? I am, uh, I, so after I let this poor little guy go in there, I set my glyphs on the front and the back door. Every door mm -hmm. has a exploding uh, glyph on it, on the door, like, so mm -hmm. they open the door, boom. Um, and then uh, uh, I will be in the other end of the alley so that I can kind of lure them towards me and then dagger cloud them. Right. Yeah. So, and, and when uh, the banana gets back, um, you are, uh, Sue. Set fireworks. Right. I'm going with the firework plan with the kids. As the, uh, so, so they, uh, so, hmm, 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 trying to figure out where, so, if you are, did it, uh, there's the, uh, <laughs> all right, so there is the house, there's a back door. That goes out of the alley. There's a front door mm -hmm. here. It goes. This is the main street over here, right? Mm -hmm. and so this is the alley. Where are you? Because there's another street. I'm at the far there. end of the alley. Okay, so right I'm there. invisible at the far end of the alley, mm -hmm. and I'm waiting for them to come down there. Uh, and uh, I have the kids setting off the fireworks in the alley, okay. and I will create the illusion sound of Thecla yelling, which I know what it sounds like. All right. When that happens, pop, 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 pop. Uh, you, you feel somebody behind you. Another one. Uh, and they are all around you. Uh, they're, they've given you about 30 feet. Uh, not 30 feet. About, uh, yeah, right about 30 feet. Um, and they're like, and uh, there's a bunch of them, and, and they're like, "Hello, you work for Thecla. We have a lot of questions, mostly banana related." <laughs> <laughs> Yadrick lays down and plays regular banana. <laughs> um, <laughs> you're not fooling anyone banana uh so they just start uh they're like we know that thecla sent you yes plant growth okay where what when <laughs> <laughs> like, 150 feet, like, uh, all around me, like, to keep people from getting too close to me and slowing their movements. All right. All right. They start to drop all sorts of manner of, uh, of uh, Eldritch Blasts on you. And, uh, oh, <laughs> like, this did not end well. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's going to be nasty. So, uh, they're like, 
You and Thecla can die. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um. What do you do? <laughs> like, well, as you cast plant growth, uh, yeah. Oh, come on. Oh my God. Come on, really? I want. Okay, you need to see that. I just. A four, a five, a five, and a four. What is this going on? I can't believe it. All right. I don't know. What am I going to do? Is this is cool. All right. Oh, yeah. We okay. retreat. Am I still alive? I don't even know what just happened. Yes, you're still alive. Okay. Um, a few Eldritch Blasts hit you, and oh. you feel slowed. Uh, mm. it's, uh, there's a special advanced Eldritch Blast. That reduces your movement by 10 every time you get hit. Oh. And uh, and you're like... Pap, 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 pap. How many hit points total did you have? <laughs> the banana? No, no, Slippery Steve. Oh. 98? 98. Uh, all right. Um, hmm... Yeah. Well, they've reduced your movement to zero. Uh, and you start taking a, you've taken about 50 hit points of damage. Um, do you have any spells to get away? I'm looking. Okay. I'm looking. I do things. Steve is just, I mean, Yodrick is just slowly crawling. <laughs> to I mean, the, the only thing I have is my invisibility cloak. Would that work mm -hmm. in this situation? I mean, they pretty much just have a uh, disadvantage to hit you, but they know where you are. You haven't moved. They, and they know that you don't move because they hit you with enough That's Eldritch true. Blasts. So they're just... <laughs> Okay. Let's all get along like we're good, good friends. Remember that time we did that thing? Yeah, it was awesome. We should do it again sometime. Let's all get along. I. And if that doesn't work, I surrender. Okay. <laughs> Let's all get along. Some of them stop. Like However, it. one of them just blasted you with <laughs> with a natural 21. Uh, oh, man. Oh, man. Uh, for, uh, oh, geez. 32 damage. Um, <laughs> what was that first one of damage there? So you took... You took 50, and you just took 32. Uh, and uh, so there's a few more, but you're like, all right, all right, I surrender. I surrender. That's basically what, what the song was. It really was. Yeah. <laughs> Let's half, all get along. Half of them stopped doing happen. anything, but the other half uh, the other half just kept wailing on you. One of them got a natural 21, which cannot be denied. They take you into their dark fortress. And that's where we're going to end it tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Because in Whoa. seven minutes, we have the haiku oh wrap up. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wow. Uh, so, uh, wow. You know, might as well just, uh, we'll just keep this going. Um, Romulus. We'll switch, still, to, the, yeah, we'll yeah, switch Romulus, to the other stream, right? We will. Oh. Oh, I mean, we can, we can, we'll change yeah. all the stuff, the banners. So everyone Isn't will it? see the background how we do this so, yeah so i'll just stick around if, if yeah if you want to like switch out um romulus just use this link we'll just use the same one and, and just keep rolling because we does, got does seven it, more minutes does it not have Stop a time recording limit? after a certain period no oh cool voila we'll just keep going well, we'll just keep going. uh in that case I'm going to reveal the face of the banana assassin puppet since nobody knew who I was. Nobody time. could tell. The master of disguise what? is Kitty. <laughs> this whole time it was Kitty. 
Um, Wait a minute. Oh, hang on a second. All those other characters that didn't make it into uh, the the Legion of Gnomes, those were also me too. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Much such disguise, much wow. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we're going to make sure that Romulus gets here. We're going to change all our little banners up. But, oh, yeah, we have to do a little outro here. So, uh, my friends, thanks for joining us for the Sunday side quest. What's going on in the city? The, the, the Legion of Gnome with Banana Force, Banana Assassin. <laughs> oh, yeah, we're totally doing it. And, oh, my gosh. So many awesome things. We're going to be right here. 8 p.m. starts the haiku wrap-up, so stick around. We're, we're not going anywhere. Adventures waiting further down the road. Let's go. Oh, ah! That's what happens when you switch it. I guess that's what happens when you have when you switch it out in StreamYard. All right. <laughs> Hi, everybody. We're gonna start We're live. 8 p.m. right here. I'm gonna make sure that uh, that Romulus knows how to get here, find his way here. Uh, we're gonna drop. There you go. Uh, Slippery gnome. If you, uh, you know what, I'm gonna run the. I'm gonna run it again just because I want to get the full song out there. Um, I love that song. That's a great song. I know, song. right? It's great. All right. So, uh, but yeah, I, I changed it up on the stream yard. Oh, <laughs> I'm pressing all sorts of buttons. Help. All right. Here we go. <laughs> We're running the end credits again to get it the full credit that it deserves. Adventures waiting further down the road. Let's go. Adventures waiting for you down the road. All right. Uh, well, we'll try to make sure that uh, that Romulus gets here. Armagird. <clears throat> that was a thing. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yeah. Hold on now. I'm going to swap into Kazoo so she can do commentary on what just happened. <laughs> Use the... All right, here I am. Hey, everybody. Well, stick around or take three minutes. We're going to readjust all the things here and get going with our show at 8 p.m. Uh, and, uh, yeah. And uh, so just take a break. We'll see you back here. We're just going to chat. If you're in the air, stay right here. Do whatever you want. We got three minutes. <laughs> All right. Oh my gosh, too much fun. Too much fun in one day. This is the uh, dark, the, the dark uh, thing. Although I, maybe I should switch back to the blue for the haiku wrap up. What do you say? Um, oh yes, we were gonna mention the, the blanket was on its way. Sally AE has the Nat 21 blanket. Thanks for letting us know that you got it. And uh, we are thrilled to be delivering it out there. Uh, thanks so much, uh, Laura, for making that blanket. It was fantastic. Oh my gosh. I mean, I, of course, I only saw the pictures. So, uh, so yeah, do uh, thanks everybody for making this show fun. I hope you've had a good time. And uh, we got two more minutes until this, the, the show starts. We're going to change all our banners up here for real quick. And all right. Let us know in the comments what you think is going to happen to Dark Kazoo. She's been captured by House Theseus. Man, the plot thickens every day. The plot thickens. I know, right? It gets crazy. It gets crazy around here. What can I say? 
What can I say? Whoops, that's foreground. This is what happens in the between shows that nobody else sees. Uh, this is what happens. Here we go. Ch I'm changing it to the haiku wrap up. There it is. There we go. This is the magic. No one ever sees the magic here. This is that thing. Uh, all right. So we're just, this is this is your chance. The behind the scenes look at everything. Ooh, I like, uh, I kind of like how this makes my eyes look. What do you think, Rom? What do you think? All right. Ro Romulus is here. Uh, yes. <laughs> yes. You won the OG Moop and the blanket. My goodness gracious, gracious. So, yes. All right. Bona, bona, bona. <gasps> Uh, yep. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right. Well, my friends, it's time. It's already that time to do that thing that y'all know and love. It is time for the haiku wrap up. Let's hit that haiku music. Do, do, if I can find it, which I put right here. I swear I did. Do, 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 do. Nope. That helps if you put your. Uh -huh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Video. Yes. No. Gleaming sparkles. Nope. <laughs> Videos. Here we go. At each close of show, to see Romulus we go. Haiku synopsis. In 575, hear our wizard summarize. These strange times we face. Oh my gosh, it's time for the haiku wrap up. That's right. What just happened? Seriously, what just happened? The only person who can tell us is our wizard, Romulus. Romulus. No, hey, listen. Here's what hmm. I need you to do. What, what's I that? I need you to go get a drink. And I need you to leave for a little while because you're going to kill yourself. You're like, <laughs> you did this, the, the Patreon game today. Like, how long have you been going? Like 12 hours now? Well, yeah, uh, no, I got need... up to make the plot in the morning, like 7 a.m. Yeah, you don't need like a three hour and a half hour side quest when you do the thing. Like, just do it. You like, I know you get excited, but like, so what we're going to do is listen. But I'm I evil. Did, I did haikus for the side quest too. And I don't want to be here till midnight. So <laughs> let's do this. I'm going to do a page at a time. But we're not going to say anything. And we're going to reply to each page. How's that sound? Okay. Yeah. I'll so tell I'm you gonna, what. I'm going to go get a drink. You get a drink. You you actually, here, there yeah. you go. You, you you gonna, gonna I'm going to give you the main screen. And then, wait, not, I'm going to give you the main Listen, screen. First of all, before you go. If you kill yourself, we all die. We exist only in the world of your imagination. I can't have you doing this to yourself. You got to, here's a workaholic, Sally. I don't know what to do. I was watching this and I'm like, we got a show in like five minutes. And then I'm over in the other room and he just decides it's like going to be on this one instead. So I don't know what I'm doing. You know me, I'm lazy. Anyhow. All right. So you take Follow a little me. break right. and I'm going to start. I'll start right. the first page. When you come back, we'll talk about what happened. Yeah. All right. So, hey, everybody, welcome to the Haiku Wrap-Up. It's a very special show tonight. <clears throat> We're going to do uh, what happened on Tuesday, and then I also did today the haikus for the uh, side quest because Gore, she was out with one of her girlfriends because she's got needs, and I'm not the best to fill them all the time. Anyhow, so let's start, as we always do, with my love haiku for Gore Gore. You guys go ahead and comment. We can do this without Paul. He can take a break. This is like a 14-hour day for him. <clears throat> I love Gorgor -Gor so. Like a living bearskin rug. Wrap me up, big spoon. Yeah. Thanks, Gorgor. -Gor. I love you. Anyhow, I'm going to miss it. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to miss the little dings. So, All right, anyway, we're going to get into uh, the chaos that ensued on Tuesday. So if you got any comments, we can talk about it and do all that. All right, let's see. So this is what happened. Uh, we started, as always, with Shakespeare and Paolo and such. Anyway, last week's big wrap-up. Lost a kazoo, gained a loon, and Echo lost it. 
Um, oh, hey. I'm not really here. Uh, this, this is, is weird for me because I don't know how I feel about you right now. You got some issues that I don't know if I can handle. I'm not really here. This is the subconscious of the good uh, part of Kazoo. Oh, the good part. I love the good part of Kazoo. We was buddies. So let's go. I think what I got to do if I'm going to get through this is I'm going to do, let me go through this page and then we'll talk about it. Okay. All right. All right. Party time, people. It's in the COA rules. Hey, what could go wrong? Can you do me a favor? Can you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you do that, it'd be great. Because I've gotten used to Paul doing like the, the thing. I'm here for you, Romulus. All right. All right so hit, here's number three. Hey, Loon has clothes on. Guest party is just starting. Hey, 19 Thief Raid. Beautiful. Uh, who's crashing my ball? Hypatia paid lots of gold. Cry if she wants to. All over the place. Thieves are like cockroaches. Exterminate them. There you go. Let's see. Hold on. Uh, and then I'm just going to do this one because it kind of... Uh, all right. There's two more. No, three more. Let's do them because they're all part of the same. All right. Rageful debutante. What a great opening line. <laughs> great job, whoever. Moral of story. Don't raid Hypatia's party if low-level thieves. Uh... I guess this is the last one because I think this is still part of the same thing. Vicious giant sloth. <laughs> Look at them. Look at them vicious sloth claws. Die in slow motion. <laughs> yeah, so anyway, I feel like most of this. I'm so glad to be here with you because I miss you. I miss you. You're taking a it's dark weird head. in this dark place. Yeah. Kazoo, like when I was there, I feel like you had a center, you know. I feel like I was like your anchor. And now I feel like maybe I've let you down. Well, I don't want to say it's your fault because it's it probably not, is. No, not maybe. at all your fault. You Great, definitely man. didn't inspire me to go evil that time you went dark and yeah. turned into a big blight dragon or a big dragon thing. And well, yeah, you all sorry. really, if you want to be honest, you all convinced me how how awesome revenge was like remember when it first started i was like peace love and happiness and you guys was like yeah hey let's go get revenge and i was like no nah, man like let's see if we can find peace and then but we did it and it was i'm not gonna lie i liked it see you know and i i i tell you i'm in a weird place right now like literally in a weird place like i don't know yeah. where i am but i hope um, you can stay because i did haiku for most of the side quests Oh, nice. I was kind of watching you. it. Like, I couldn't really do much. I kept trying. You were, but it. You were like, mm, you know. Well, that, you know, let's be honest. Was that really me or someone else? What do you think about uh, Loon, the druid? She's like, I don't know. She's, what I, what, you don't, what do you think? I don't know. Like, I feel like I, when I was a child and Augustus was a child, our parents told us, look, don't take things from strangers. But I feel mm -hmm. like she showed up and was like, <laughs> was like, here, eat this. And the party's just like, <laughs> okay, sure, why not? You know, I don't know. It's yeah. just weird, you know. But and I mean, she's naked all the time. Yeah. I don't see any problem is, with the nakedness. She is a naturalist. That's right. Um, really, yeah, that's really, 100%. Here, I'll do this thing that Paul normally does. Click there. Oh, look she's at a you. naturalist. Yeah. She's a all naturalist. Right. And I agree. She needs to. You know, be like I think I think she's very grounded, very connected to the earth, and that's gonna be good for the party, you know. Maybe, yeah. I, I just personally feel like they're like, Oh, this character doesn't look like Paul. They must be a PC we can trust. <laughs> and then they're like, boom. I just say give it a little more time. You know, people gotta earn it. You can't just assume that he didn't hire yeah, someone as a but ringer, at the same you know? time, I kind of like like the accelerated trust path. Yeah, I mean it. It's probably a lot of ex, uh, expo exposition we don't need. Yeah, you, you want to do like let's their house. You want to yeah. do another another page and then we'll chat some more. 
Yeah, yeah I'm trying to so, say that. Ambro, Ambro, uh, anyway. All right. Have face full of fleas. Six points of flea bite damage. Ooh. That's embarrassing. Yeah. That was nice, though. I kind uh, of appreciated the flea bite thing. <laughs> oh, this is one of my favorite haikus of the week. You ready for this one? Random oh. pestilence. <laughs> Another great opening line or metal band name. Yeah. That's yeah, good. I don't know if I start a band. I think you and I, Zoo, we should go on the road and we should start a band called Random Pestilence. Let's see. Random. Yeah. Go, 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 go. Yeah, I, I can do Gorgor, that. I want Gorgor to play stand-up bass. For I was going to say, yeah, she's totally a so bass so hot. Oh, my God. Anyway, I'm, I'm breaking my own rule. I'm just, we're supposed to wait till I get done with the page. Anyway. I'm listening. All right. What echo needed to slaughter low-level thieves like melee chocolate? Yes, yeah, so, I'm sorry. No, I'm going to talk about it. I'm sorry. Very therapeutic. It's always Orc therapeutic. Orcish healing's weird. <laughs> Loon is like the mama bird. Rub it on the rogue. Uh, you can't make me laugh. I'm supposed to be serious. I'm a wizard. <laughs> that All was right. so gross. That was so gross. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> All right. Oh, this is a great one. I was so excited. Ready? It's Quest Friend Castle. Whoa, Paul. Production value. We're like a real show. Did you see? I think I stopped there because I did you see his Quest Friend Castle? Yeah, I made it. That's really? Magnus, you did? Magnus technically made it. Yeah. Whoa, it's so good. I was like, wow. We didn't get enough focus on the Quest Friend Castle. I'm just saying. I would have liked to have seen some more close-ups. Oh, so Magnus, we assembled it and did some of the uh, painting, and I did the rest of the painting. But, was yeah, impressed. that was that was a totally Magnus original yeah, scenery. Yeah. yeah. All right, though. Yeah, I was I was like, whoa, that's some – We've somebody spent some time on that. Yeah. That's the kind of time I don't have to put into things, you know. It's got details that we haven't even seen yet. It's really yeah. – Oh, that's exciting. It's really nice. You can All open right. up – Anyway, little... let's okay. keep going on. I feel like we're getting through a lot more than I do with Paul. Like, he goes on these really? tangents. Really? I wonder, wonder um, why. He's not very that's focused. Weird. All right. Let's go. Well, Loon spiked the apps. She has got your hookup, guys. Hey, Hexor's still here. Echo made a tie. Close for Hexor for party. She remembers him. Yeah, let's talk about Hexor for a minute. I feel What's like What's his deal? I, I haven't know, met I feel like it's like the problem with all NPCs is like you kind of forget they're there, you know? Yeah. But I feel that like happens. Echo does. Yeah. yeah. She cares about Hexor. She does. Nice. So, well, uh, what's his deal? What do you think his deal is? I don't know. I mean, I don't want to say anything because I saw some side quests where I feel like I have. I don't want to spoil it, you know. Spoil it for who? Any, anybody, you know, you or whoever. People who also saw the side quests? Yeah, or people who didn't mainly, you know. Okay. I don't want to like. I'm just saying they could always, you know. Yeah, it could. That, it could know. catch up. Anyway, I hope he's not a demon. Let's just what? keep moving on. <laughs> All right, ready? So we go on. Okay. Look, this creepy guy, tiefling threw table at him. <laughs> A blast from the past. I like Sorry. the I like the ukulele situation. That's pretty awesome. yeah. so metal. Who invited him? His face is messed up, says Loon. Brings up table thing. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. So what happened right here was uh, mm, the uh, Loon was just, that's what I like about Loon. I think that's why she's featured in so many haikus because like she's just like, she'll just say it. Tiefling table tipper would be a great first line for a haiku. Just some guy from Tennessee. That is good. Yeah. And again, oh, yeah. That's, that's Loon being down to earth. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, Loon, she's like, whatever. You know what I mean? Like, she's like, I don't care. I'll tell them, ha ha. Hey, they threw a table at you. Ha ha ha. And everybody's <laughs> like, Ixnay on the able tay. Whoa. You know? 
They said that? They were like, yeah, don't bring up the table. I don't know if you heard it, but they was like, uh-uh, no. And Loon was just like, ah, ha, ha, you got hit by a table. And they did it. And ha, ha, ha. Let's bring up that sad story from our past. Yeah. All right. This Anyway, this next one was really inspired. I rearranged it, but this is basically stuff that Lady Onsa said. All right. This is not me. I didn't say this. This was her. So just make sure. I hope she's here to hear this. <clears throat> With roofy bow ties, you guys make me sad for those who math and war game. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I think she was yeah. saying like our D and D is at a level where like if you're just people who are like mathing and war gaming, it's kind of sad that you don't experience this level of debauchery. Of uh, roofies and bow ties, is that what the level of debauchery yeah, that we have said, is? Thank you, Madam Osa. She said, let me do it again. She said, with roofy bow ties, you guys make me sad for those who math and war game. Yeah. yeah. I got to do some adventuring with BLC Blondie and her family. We did, uh, they All explored right. our experimental world that we're oh. making with Nat 21 and the Dice Knights, fellas. Nice. They got to around, find some clues. Frank was there. No, he wasn't. No passion. Sorry. I was totally going to do that, but I was stuck in a, yeah, someplace. I have, but you're here. You're here a lot. You could deserve a break. You like Paul. You got to like rest your eyes or something. Anyhow. So anyway, this is the, uh, the weird guy with the face and, and the, the, the white and then the, the, the weird warlock. His name was Kendall. Kendall. Yeah. I get I into that later, but this yeah, is a okay. start early on a proposition. He would hire these guys again. Not heard of Indeed. I don't know if you know that, but that's the service where you can like find people to work for you so you don't have to hire the people again who threw a table at your face. So I guess he hasn't heard of them. <laughs> yeah. All right. Oh, here we go. This is a good one. And then Loon's naked. <laughs> and Weave questions her timing. Save for drum circle. Yeah, she was happening already. <laughs> Here we go. Wine's actually good. Kendall expected much less. Oh. Is Hexor still here? Hexor. Yeah. Loon's protecting tree. Kendall just wants to help her. Who would hurt this tree? I don't know. That's, the, you know, they say don't judge a book by his cover, but Kendall did look pretty evil, didn't he? He did look pretty evil. Yeah. And, you know, the whole warlock thing, warlock yeah. of Thecla, you're not a good mm -hmm. guy. Yeah. I don't know. Well, he did try to answer the question, and he said, it's the committee. Kendall says they are the threat, but we are neutral. That was him. Yeah, that's a buck pass if I, I ever heard it. I don't believe yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. And then I believe it might have been Loon. So, oh, yeah, no, it is. All right, here we go. The last line of this uh, this this haiku coming up is, is said by Kendall. <clears throat> Are you guys using us? Loon asks Kendall the question. Would I tell you that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's fair. That's fair. Yeah. There we go. This one's kind of personal. So many guests here. So many names from past games. Hmm. No invite for rum. Ooh. That is true. Yeah, why didn't you get an invite? Things. And I don't know why. Listen, I'm not going to lie. I'm not the biggest, like, life of the party, you know? Yeah. But why wouldn't you invite Gorgor? Right, they know Gorgor. She's a fun time. Oh, that's always. Yeah, yeah. that's. And I'd be. Uh, I could just be her plus one. I don't even know one for me. But like, don't keep. Gorgor gets upset sometimes. She's. She's like, why don't I get invited? You know, what I, mean? I know Thecla, and I know all these people. Like, why don't they invite me? Like, I'm a. I'm no joke. I'm so and tired. I can help if there that was problems. Fair. Hey, what I meant. Hey, nothing. Oh. oh, hey, you know what? We have uh um the mailbag of holding, yeah. and um. I just I just looked in it and there's this 
uh, invite uh, uh, Romulus. That's me. I, I do this psycho show for you every week, and you don't know my name. <laughs> That's messed up. Yeah, uh, some party, I think. Uh, yeah, I missed it. Anyway. Yeah, that was last oh, week. About oh, let's, speaking of that party. Yes. The Meowfia. Cat <laughs> Familiars got invites. No invite for rum. <laughs> got lost in the mail, apparently. <laughs> I think uh, let hey let's since uh, let's let Kazoo do the the the, the oh, yeah, sure. ukulele this time because I All think right. it'll help her maybe get back on the path of righteousness. I'm gonna I'm gonna bring in speaking of cat I'm gonna bring in Kitty Banana Geppetto. Woo! Oh my God, you was spectacular. <laughs> speaking Banana of cat, Banana Geppetto is such so a listen, name. So what Kazoo and I came up with is I'm gonna read a page at a time. Then we can talk about it because I okay. also did haiku for the side quest, and we're never going to get through it if we talk after each one. So you let me know when you're ready, and we'll go through one of these pages of haikus. And All right. Oh, I just want to point out that Rom feels like fifth wheel is the great start of a, of a haiku. Yeah, Sally's good at them too. She's she like is. Our, she's yeah. killing it. Mm -hmm. And I know haiku, so I'll tell you she's good. All right, do we want to go into a page and then we'll talk go, about it? Go, go, yeah. Right. Roll, roll. So this is the next part of Tuesday's game. <clears throat> Ecstasy party. <laughs> Loon is making party nice. Elf <laughs> goblin tension. I jumped the gun a little bit there because I was very excited. That's all right. You're new. This is your first time. You should have seen Paul the first week he tried to do the dog. The dog. <laughs> anyway, sorry. I'm, I'm breaking my own rule. <clears throat> Can we just not, guys? And the weaves asks the elves to chill. Take it easy, guys. Hey, that's my brother. He's with that dumb guy, Eirik. <laughs> now, confessionals. Whoa, that's right. Yeah. And then here we got the confessionals. Let's see. Loon loves this big tree. <laughs> Hypatia notices guys. And the weaves once subtle. Echo feeling great. Epic battle and Irik. And what's going on? She kind of said that. Like she was confused. Let's see. Creepy AF witch. Kendall is well pleased with things. Plans come together. This party. Creepy AF witch. Crimpy F witch. I couldn't fit warlock. And uh, I don't like to genderize anyway. So, you know, like witch gotcha. warlock kind of situation. All right. <clears throat> this party is lit. Irik agrees with the Mab and says Valhalla. Yeah. Let's see. I think. Uh, oh, no. Sorry. This is the last one from the confessional. Yeah. This is the last one from the confessionals. Then we can talk about that. Gustus. Ha. Ha ha. <laughs> Sounds like what my brother'd say. Confess. Ha. Ha ha. All right. All right. Whew, ha, ha. I'm proud of us. We did a whole page. Ha. All right. Discuss among yourselves. Ha. That was beautiful. That was it's beautiful. magic. It's magic. Magic. Holy cow. Oh. Yeah. So it's going crazy. We're talking about the party. Mm. Um, Kitty, I don't know if you remember, but there was like some drugs and it was tense tension. I'm gonna have to look at our um, our agreements with Twitch to see how much drug referencing we could do. <laughs> well, you're gonna have to talk to your party members because I just write haikus about what they talk about. So. I, yeah, well, you know, I didn't. I did not bring drugs to the party. That's all I'm saying. No, you didn't. It was made by an no, herbal nobody. Race. Yeah, they're herbal. Cool. It was herbal remedies. Nobody brought drugs. They were made there. Speaking of <laughs> speaking of uh, what our agreements are with Twitch. Uh, everybody, we, next week we are going solely to Twitch. Uh, we will not be on Facebook uh, because, well, uh, turns out that if you want to be, uh, if you want to get more into Twitch, then you have to be pretty much solely with them. Uh, so, uh, so we'll still be putting out the episodes 24 hours after they air live, but they are only live on Twitch. So that's going to be next week, starting next week. 
Yeah. So there I want to <laughs> say to uh, Sally, I don't feel like a fifth Leo. I don't. And I also, I just want an invite. I don't actually want to go <laughs> to these things. Like I'm very content in my lair. Right. Anyhow. All right. So we, it's, we want it's to right move here. on. Yeah, oh, yes. Great. But here's Sally with yet another great uh, haiku. Rom oh, feels yeah. like fifth wheel. He's left out of everything. He is chopped liver. Well, when you put it like that, it's kind of depressing. <laughs> oh, and it's canon because it's in haiku. I know, it's in haiku. I made that rule. Thank you, BLC. I appreciate it. All right, let's see. Uh, Gus still has crossbow. Why do they let him keep that? And he's reloading. <laughs> he did he just shot that goblin. He did. <laughs> Booming tiefling <laughs> voice. Wow. That stopped Barbarian. Great job, Hypatia. <laughs> Hypatia, my friend. Could you speak to Augustus? Take his crossbow, please. <laughs> Valdris is here, too. And with her husband, that Greg. Crossbow bolt to knee. <laughs> and then uh, uh, I think this is a good place to stop after this one because this is all kind of the same stuff. Let's see. It's meathead bonding. <laughs> Crossbow bolts. Punching faces. And wisdom dump stats. <laughs> all right. Uh, that yeah. was a little party. <laughs> I think that kind of all they all work together in the same part of the party. So, anybody yeah. have anything that we feel we about that? Party? I just, I just had to get Greg Valdris's husband. I just had to give him a little one shot. Just he, he. The thing is, he is a rich lord. He has the equipment. He has the backup. I mean, he, he showed up with a cadre of people that were all on his friend, all his team, and he was like. He's like, yeah, I just need to shoot this guy in the thigh. Don't yeah. worry. I just need to get him back. And so he's got this really sweet little crossbow. Pap! <laughs> There's like, I'm done. <laughs> I laughed. I'm not going to lie. I mean, who <laughs> shot first, really? That's yeah. the important question we are all asking. Yeah, it's true. It's true. Anyway, that's all I have to say about that little part of the show there. I was right. personally my little, my little thing. It was just like, oh, yeah, no, Greg yeah. needs a little revenge. He got shot in the thigh at his wedding. That's like, bad. I didn't. I. You know how many times my brother's been shot in the knee? It's been a lot. He'll have a lot of things to say when he retires. Finally. Oh, man. Yeah. <laughs> Thank goodness for magical healing. That's all I have to say about that. Do we want to go on to the next part of the thing? Yes. All right. Let's see. When is drum circle? Must be soon. Loon is naked. And the weave is down. There you go. Don't worry, Paul was way worse when he first started with the gong. Yeah. All right, let's. All right, here we go. All right, let's chat with Kendall or talk about useless things. Is Hexor still here? <laughs> I don't know why I'm Aww, echoing. Oh, poor here. Hexor. There was one person who was like, maybe this is a bad thing. And that would be. That person right here. <laughs> the person right over here. Hexor, get out. Echo remembered Hexor is nice. All right, let's see. Hey, let's make amends. We can all work together. Hey, what could go wrong? Nothing could go wrong. Exactly. <laughs> Theseus problems. Hey, get houses in order. Snog forts, disarray. Uh, if you scratch my back, I will help you with tree thing. Ken's reasonable. Uh, let's see. Oh, this is still the same part. Let's see. Watch for Theseus. They're anxious to hug that tree. You know what I mean? I do know what you mean. Yeah. Oh, and this was, uh, this was sort of from, uh, this is sort of the same thing. We'll do this then we can. But this was uh, Hypatia's like aside. So she said like she sent the, the message to uh, Echo, remember, when she was, we need to take vote. 
Echo, don't sign a contract. Hey, Hexor is still here. <laughs> All right. I mean, oh, that's yeah. really good advice. Don't sign contracts. They yeah, totally... I, I don't know how many people were writing it in the comments, but they were like, can I crit fail that, that Hexor gets out of the little room that he was in? And I was like, yes, that's a lovely <laughs> idea. Too much fun. Oh, my God. Look at that. Druid Uendo <laughs> is a perfect awesome. haiku line. <laughs> that is awesome. Nice. Oh, man. Yep. <laughs> anyway, yeah. So that was when Echo was having, like, her little her little conversation with um, – with uh with with Kendall and then like my brother and Hypatia like couldn't handle the fact that they weren't the center of attention. <laughs> that that's what that felt like. Oh, that's right. Loon and uh uh Dweeb were up on they the were roof. the drum circle, yeah. They left. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. That's what happens. Parties kind of mix and mingle, you know. Yeah, it was good the way you did that. All right. Anyway, anybody have anything else about that? Well, I just love that uh, you know. You remember that Hexor was let go from the maze. So, you know, they do know that he left with all of you. And, uh, you know, they were like, oh, he's he's still with you? That's interesting. Hmm. But yes. What did they think we were going to do with him? I, I don't right? know. I throw him out in the street. I don't know. But the, the fact that certain... Uh, certain side quests brought back certain items back to certain schools. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't spoil it. Yes. Well, cause I watch all of them, you know, now it's going to be a little more important now that, uh, Hexor's around. So right. why would they let him go? Gosh, crazy random happenstance, isn't it? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> these next three are about Hexor. Do you want to hear these? And then we can let's do it. All right. <clears throat> yes. Kendall knows Hexor. What can you share with us, bud? Nothing is for free. What a jerk. <laughs> this is Kendall. This is Kendall. Take your time, you guys. No rush on unholy deal. Let us know soon. Ciao. <laughs> and then uh, this is also, this is, I think Echo was the one who was bringing this up. Can you help Hexor? Maybe throw it in the deal. Can't take our Hexor. Yeah. yeah, he was like, I can I can fix Hexor, but you have like, yeah, we'll take him. And I was like, oh no, no, you're not gonna take him. Yeah, Echo like, was not the, about that. Echo was not. You could yeah. you could heal him here. That'd be fine. Yeah, no. I would not. Yeah. When you say heal, what do you mean? <laughs> right like, fix i think we use the word fix <laughs> all right anyway like it's from like, this point forward there was a distinct change in the party <laughs> i wonder why <laughs> all right so here we go and Dweeb is stoned here goes the plot off the rails an epiphany <laughs> You know that that is how it's done. It can definitely open the the third eye. You know, it sure did. <laughs> Here we go. Moop army coming. Loon loves everybody, guys. The hell's going on? <laughs> Hypatia is done. She lost control of party. She covers her eyes. <laughs> It's like a weeping angel right there. It was great. This part of the party was just spectacular in some ways <laughs> that uh, some would call unnatural. Anyway, let's see. Horn blows. Moop rider. Named compass after this guy. It's Noctar Zograt. Noctar Zograt. Yeah, Noctar Zograt, if you don't know, is canonly also the name of the, the, the compass. They used to find people from the, the uh, Gambolini family. It has oh. a name. Yeah, it's Noctar Zograt. Right. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes when I'm doing haikus, I don't pay a lot of attention. So, like, <laughs> I'll hear things, and then they, like, become something else sometimes. But then you know it's a haiku. So and it's it just becomes reality. In the game. Anyhow. That's some superpower. <laughs> Wait. Noctar Belmon. 
He's here for the little party. And Loon gropes him lots. <laughs> yeah, Maybe. Loon was all over Noctar. Let She's very friendly you. from what I can tell. She is a very friendly <laughs> druid. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh oh, this was one that was fun. This was Wait, fun. it's meeping angels, it's and then eventually angels. we'll turn them into mooping angels. It's like the mooping other angels. Movie. This one, this one, uh, Kitty, this was an awkward moment. The quotes are Irish, just so you know. Okay. Drum circle rolls, rolls on. Where's Kazoo and Ayala? Ooh, awkward question. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I love making it awkward. I can't help how it. Did, you do. How did we even deal with that? Did we just be like, nope, not right now. I'm not going to talk about that right like, now. Echo was like, I can't know. And maybe in the morning when I'm hey, I'd be able to deal with this. I can't talk about this right now. That's how it went. Well, and then I think, I think uh, at that point you hit the drugs really hard. Onda was <laughs> was in a point of relaxation, if you will, where she said a thing <laughs> that sounded enough to Irik like they was on a quest that it was able to divert. Because <laughs> intelligence is one of his dump stats. I think we all know that. Uh -huh. So it was easy to like. Oh, they on a quest, dude. Valhalla, all that, you know. <laughs> mm. A housewarming gift. A big old moop calling horn. Blows and weaves mind. Nice. Irik loves a horn. Summon the help of moop army. That is convenient. That's not going to come back around later in the story. Ever. At all. Nah. What is that? At all. <laughs> all right. This is my reaction. This is where we got. Because then there was the end of the show confessions. <laughs> all right. Here we go. Sex, Hold drugs, you. and parties. Yeah. No longer a family show. <laughs> Unsafe in workplace. <laughs> <laughs> and then I, this is my wrap up of the whole thing. I call this session if we learned only one thing don't do drugs children <laughs> <laughs> so that was Tuesday's show do you see how fast we got through that without Paul here that was awesome I'd like to thank you oh, almost like 30 minutes man yeah so what do we want to talk about that show and then we can get into the side quest because that was awesome or the too. MVP reveal Tommy is yeah, asking yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah MVP I have MVP. right now MVP Kazoo, if you are ready for yeah. the uh, strumming of the chord, so, right? <clears throat> Week five MVP. From a fight to now in charge, Echo is new mom. <laughs> Echo, yeah, she deserves it. She does. Okay. That's great. <laughs> well, Poor, no, Echo. Yeah. Poor Echo. Poor Echo. I just want to yeah. party and follow this duck. And now I'm <laughs> co owning a car. Remember, right. so Remember the days where you used to just seduce everyone, right? Those were the yeah. good days. Yeah. Yeah. Now I've got Who's little chick to take care of. <laughs> She'll so figure no, it out. I had a question for all of you. I know that Echo, Kazoo, I think you might be part of the ones, but like, who owns the castle? Who crashed it? I know Irik was there and Echo. Irik was there. So, seriously, I, I mean, there's no it. reason. That, yeah, I don't think there's any reason that Irik shouldn't be part of that. Uh, uh, you know. Huh. Echo, Kazoo, Ayala. Ayala. And who was? Uh, Irik. And Irik. Is that the whole group? That's all, that's all. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, I think so. You should leave. You could leave Irik there, and maybe Augustus, and they can like watch it, so you can do other. Things. That was my theory. Yeah. Please, and I'm not even there to say. Please, that's, that's that's needed. We need as many people defending that place as possible, while yeah. other business is getting handled. But they have to still <laughs> still go meet the committee, and yeah. now Frank, potentially still... building alliances with warlocks. That's trouble. Mm -hmm. As is asking her trouble. The Frank Are you sure though? Because it might belong to Loon as well. She might be. Well, she. I don't know if she actually thinks anybody can own anything. So cool. there's that. Yeah. <laughs> do we want to um? 
Do we want to talk? Is there anything else anybody has about Tuesday? Because oh. we can move on to the side quest if we want. So, so the game, the Patreon Saints game today, we were actually just kind of talking about how, uh, <laughs> how like, well, we could have the Patreon Saints there as well um, when they're on the same plane of existence. Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, <laughs> but we had, we had a, a kind of funny chat about like, they're just there the whole time and nobody really noticed. Everybody just thought they were like somebody else's friend. And they're like, guys, we've been living on the third floor this whole time. What? They're like, <laughs> oh, I, I just thought that door was locked. And we just, I thought, wait, I thought Echo was staying in that room. Echo lives downstairs in the water. Oh. <laughs> we're like, oh, I, thought I just saw, I just saw these, you know, other people coming in and out. And I just thought, well. <laughs> So yeah. Anyway, we had some thoughts. There, there might be more people inhabiting the castle than than you um, know. So <laughs> it's a big castle, so there's room, you know, spread yeah. out. All right. Yeah. So we feel good about Tuesday. We want to move. Yeah. On to oh, right. I feel great. Oof, about this Tuesday. was a great one. This was the first one that happened during the side quest. Ready? A kazoo oh. side quest. Oh wait, my mom's calling. She got her first shot. Yay! That's a true story. I was Yay. really excited. Yeah. All right. Anyway, that's aside from that. That wasn't anything. I was left and then I came back. And this is what happened when I was coming back. Hey, look, they're friends now. An offer she can't refuse. Here, drink this potion. So that was Thecla with Kazoo. How did you feel in that moment when because when you got handed a potion from Thecla? I was pretty sure that it was poison. It bottle looked a little familiar, but I didn't really want to say anything. And I knew that uh, if it was poison, that I had two choices. I drink the poison or she kills me. Yeah, it's kind of a, yeah, it's so, a deal. Yeah, yeah that's, that's how is, it works. This was my experience of when you drank it, ready? Potion makes you change. By change, I mean your clothing. Slippery Steve Kazoo. Yeah, this is starting to be very uncomfortable with me for me right now. I'm gonna uh put the, the ukulele down. And Are you I'm sure you want to be here for this? This is probably gonna be like Yeah, this is this is I mean I saw it, moments. but I think you'll be fine, but I mean I'm just saying I wanna ha a trigger warning kazoo. There's gonna be <laughs> yeah. some things in for here. Just my... kazoo. Yeah, yeah <laughs> just kazoo. Uh, I, Madame Monza is throwing down some hot licks. She's spitting. Oh, look at that. This is wacky AF. Nat 21 con is lit. Oops. Demonetized. <laughs> 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 oh, my God. Is that demonetized or demonetized? Demon my ties. Demon my ties. <laughs> And here we go. Then it all happened. That was crazy. That was a great callback, by the way, Paul. That was like, how many seasons ago was the Life Force of Season Slippery? one versus... Whoa. That was yeah. like Mako time. Yeah. Mako and Mokin. Remember that guy? Yeah. He died, he died in the river. Mm -hmm. When's he coming back as an undead thing to haunt the dreams of Mako? You sick He's bastard. not because he went through the portal during yeah, the Halloween right. times. You yeah, whatever. bring him back. I don't believe you. I think you'll do whatever you can to destroy the the, the feelings of these characters. <laughs> anyway, yeah. I'm just making it emotional. Come on. All right, here we go. <laughs> I got your emotional investment right here. You ready? <laughs> ready? Hashtag slippery zoo. Now with battle action gloves. More than sum of parts. <laughs> yeah. Those are That's nice great. gloves, though. I'll give you that. Those are, Those are nice really gloves. nice gloves. <laughs> Gather super group. Use your gnomish wiles, Kazoo. Zoo and Steve, great team. <laughs> oh, yeah. Reverend Tommy's throwing out there. He's been tracking that elixir for the last 34 episodes. Reverend Tommy, hold it. Oh, He's oh, my God. Yeah. All right, let's see. The Legion of Gnome. Three feet or less to join gang. Use advertising. <laughs> I just, oh. All right. There's got to be some. I don't have it yet. Something about <laughs> we'll put you three feet under. 
<laughs> oh dear. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> All right, we're gonna have to have something written by the end of the week. This is this is too much. I don't remember yeah. what this ha- what was happening in this side quest when I wrote this, but it's I think it's the pro anyway. Dark dagger cloud, pink mist, memories, the way we were. Hashtag <sighs> dark kazoo. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh, uh, I think this is when Steve Slippery Steve was regaling um, people with with the first instance of why Slippery Steve wanted to utilize the champions. Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah, right. Huh. All right, let's see. And then you started, uh, uh, Kazoo. You started like a little uh, recruiting program. <laughs> and that's when this is. Uh, here we go. Conscripted orphans. <laughs> Word the advertisement right. No kid labor laws. <laughs> Ain't no laws. <laughs> uh, let's see. Not hey, me, Scott. Yeah. And this is all about the recruiting process, these next couple. Let's see. Damn, Darker Kazoo. Think she killed that little nerd kid. <laughs> Applicants dying. Oh, my God. This is so hard. Here we go. <laughs> Here we go. There's another one. This is great. This is a great portion of the game. It's not me. It's you. Don't be correcting me, guys. Hard to find minions. <laughs> and this is another one. This is like Kazoo's own words. Honestly, come on. I'm not asking for too much. Hear sound of small feet. <laughs> And here we go. This was one of everybody's favorite parts of the whole night. <laughs> Sentient banana. <laughs> this is a tragic story. Banana assassin. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag banana assassin. <laughs> wait, uh, wait, wait. <laughs> We've already had an, a request for all the Banana Assassin merchandise. <laughs> like, <laughs> we've already had an official request. And you're like, we don't care how much it is. Just send us all of the Banana <laughs> merchandise. This isn't going to last very long. Do you still want it? I want oh you to God. mail that banana <laughs> right now. I feel like he's got palsy in the one hand with the knife because it's constantly like. No, he's that quick with the knife. Like His hand moves so fast. You can barely see it. That is one vicious banana. Yeah. Uh, man, it, makes, it just mince meat out of you, especially with that pixie knife. Holy shit. Uh, oh, yeah. I can't oh, wait. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know who said it, but one of the somebody what in the comments. The shit? Oh <laughs> no! Oh, holy cow! You're as evil as Kazoo. Oh you my god! You crossed the line. Oh my god! That's crossing the line. <laughs> He's fine, guys. He's fine. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> All right. In memory of the banana. <laughs> Here's the haiku. Wait a second. Here's the good news. These parts can, can just go on another banana later. <laughs> it's, it's Mr. It's banana Person yogurt. Head. It's not going to be yogurt. Oh, dear. That's sad. That's some sadness happening. I've been waiting so long for this moment because I'm really hungry. <laughs> oh, God. But <laughs> I don't know how to... <laughs> The pipe right. cleaners are all the way through it. Okay, anyway. Kitty, Kitty you have to read this one. <laughs> Kitty should read this one. Hi, Yandrick exclaims. Hey, is that a banana? Always their last words. <laughs> hey, is that a banana? <laughs> okay, honestly, <laughs> this may have been the kazoo... The Kazoo side quest, but it was really the banana side quest. Let's be honest. <laughs> banana, listen. Oh, dear. It definitely turned MVP. Yeah. You're eating them right now. <laughs> was the, um, I don't know who said this, but this was a joke from one of the people in the thing. The first line. This okay, one. Okay, wait, a- hold on. Wait, what? 
Banana bananalism. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> All okay, right. that was or the potato. We're, the the we're still in the recruiting <laughs> process. Let's see. <laughs> this one has appeal. <laughs> Yandrick Olivier the third. This banana's in. <laughs> Heck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I uh, I apologize to anybody who's showing up right at this moment, just wandering around on Twitch, who just comes in and goes, "What the I'm, hell I'm is sorry. going on? What exactly? Is, it's it's going to be too long to explain. The videos are on YouTube." <laughs> Start I got soon. this. Hold on. The explanation is a very bad character was recruiting assistants and hired a deadly banana assassin. The end. Simple. The end. That was easy. Simple explanation. <laughs> it's been now <laughs> canana bananalized. <laughs> <laughs> Look, the important, the important part still exists. Okay, they're oh still God. here. Like they're. Oh, he's, he's just a shell of a man. <laughs> that banana has an eating disorder. There's gonna be more <laughs> banana assassins. Don't worry. Mm. This one just wasn't gonna last too much longer. It was already starting to get really weird after me holding it and wiggling <laughs> it around for three hours. Oh my god, that was an actual banana. I had no idea this whole time. That's that was an actual banana. Oh my god. All right, here we go. Let's move on so we can get this keep going. <laughs> know what I don't like about creepy garden districts? The effing vampires. Yeah. That was inspired by Paul. Let's see. Uh Sneaky banana. She disappears from the stream, but then she comes back. <laughs> uh, visit Steve's old place. Things change in 300 years. Who moved hidden keys? <laughs> That's what I thought about. Like when they were trying to get in, that, like Steve had like put like a rock, like one of them fake rocks with the key under. Oh, it. I love those. You know? And like, oh, whoa, 300 years, who moved my key? Anyway. <laughs> no one was going to touch that fake rock. <laughs> Ooh, the cobra bow. That Eisendor strikes again. Strike first, no mercy. Oh! Oh, why are we not doing more Cobra Kai references? Yeah. <laughs> oh. Uh. Oh, this is a good one. This is a good one. Should I kill this guy? Don't see why not, says Yadrick. Oh. Who's Zoo talking to? I didn't think it was a good idea to kill that guy. I'm just saying. I just... I got another haiku about that guy. <laughs> My guy never die. Cookie eating dude. Should be easy shot, says Paul. Shoot that guy in back. Hashtag Dark Kazoo. Yes, and our <laughs> our watchers did not want that to happen. It wasn't going to go down that easy, and right. Kazoo was already giving him disadvantage, and he shot. Ah, oh, uh, beautiful. This is that part. This is that part of the show too. This my house, punk. <laughs> Cookie guy is quite confused. Banana assassin. <laughs> Banana assassin. Banana assassin. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody expects this. The banana salad. Oh, this is a good one too. Ready? <laughs> when dead guy shows up, who sold you your nice mansion? What we call awkward. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Steve got old room back. Make the vampire dance, kazoo. Talk a big game, Steve. Oh, uh, anyway, that was kind of like, yeah, if you guys want to go on that part, because that's, um, that was like when they went in the house, you know, they snuck in through one of the ways that Steve Zoo remembered. What were your mm -hmm. thoughts then, Kazoo? What was happening in your mind? I wanted to know, I was, I gotta admit, I was a little curious about to see what was in this house that, that Steve was so interested in seeing. And then we get in and, and I'm like, oh gosh, what if this vampire comes and catches us from behind and steve's like yeah that's a great idea let's put up this glyph i'm like i just learned that oh spell 
Look at Frank's comment. Not to go, but that's a great comment and that's a great idea. We should have a whole, we should have a whole <laughs> side quest of Cobra Kai monks. Uh, I'm sorry. So hilariously, I have in in Magecraft instead of a bunch of monks, I had a bunch of wizards who were like totally the Cobra them. Kai. I remember yes. those guys. Yes, they yeah. were like they were like we're the Green Dragons, huh? And they oh, were yeah. such douche bros. Yeah, oh my and, god. Uh -huh. <laughs> like, uh, they yeah, they were totally the Cobra. I just I was like, yep, yeah, they're pretty much just Cobra Kai. Like I'm pretty much just went took the mm, and boom and just but they're wizards, you know. <laughs> what you never do that? Grab what? something from the rest of the world and change its name and then just. <laughs> He'd never do that. Hail the skipper. That's right. <laughs> All, right. <laughs> All right. This one was inspired by Kathy Evans. The banana bunch. Terrors <laughs> on the Mage Cross streets. Who's Legion of Gnome? <laughs> I know, right? That's fine. I mean, look, look, face it. What in that one encounter where anyone survived who witnessed the attack? What did they see? Banana. Is that a banana? Yeah, the banana. Is that a banana? <laughs> banana. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I didn't come up with that either. I had banana gang, and then Kanana, but Kathy Evans came up with banana bunch, which is much more clever. Right. So I could that didn't happen. I didn't get that. I was like, ooh, the go banana gang. Bananas, go, and, go, bananas. There's gonna there's like a, start a, a whole uh, like, uh, like urban legend about like if you Kill see a banana? a banana in an alley, and like parents are gonna tell yeah. their children to be good, or yeah. the banana's gonna yeah. get them. Yeah. All right. Um. Oh yeah. Here we go. Then we moved on. You started going through the list, I think, of people. So, fight this wizard, guys. Oh, I'm sorry. Fight this wizard, guys. After one round of combat, win fatality. <laughs> Yeah. Whew. Oh yeah. I was. I was like, oh, we should make. We. Should, I'll, I'll make this one a little more tricky. Nope. <laughs> I had a. Uh, this next haiku is a thought I had that I think might be very accurate about this particular side quest. All right. Is this for real, Paul? <laughs> or is Kazoo on bad trip, like Twin Peaks nightmare? Is this real? Is this really happening? I'd like to know that very much, please. That's a great I'll question. This one, I think, is my own idea, but I might have seen it in the... I don't think this was in the comments, but I think I came up with this on myself, which I'm proud of. If I didn't, I apologize. I always try to credit to people, but I think I came up with it on my own. Bananazon Prime. Free delivery, but wait. He's not buying it. <laughs> Yeah, you said something about being Amazon or something. And then I was like, oh, Banana Zom Prime. That's good. Free delivery. Good. I don't think you said that or anyone else said it, but someone might have said it because I'm easily distracted. So if someone else said it, it was clever. If I said it, I'm proud of myself. <laughs> anyway. All right. It's captains only. That captain oh, wow. has a shark hand. Yeah, Twin Peaks Nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Captain that Shark. checks out. That checks out. Mm -hmm. I mean, Have to do cool stuff. How to get Captain alone. I have your child note. <laughs> that didn't work. I'm that was not. So good. glad you did, because you'd have been like, huh? I don't have a kid. <laughs> like, yeah. or, or, no, the or boat idea worse. was great. Great. <laughs> Give me another beer. <laughs> like, all right, here's a good one. Nana sneak attack, an embarrassing demise. Pirate laughing stock. <laughs> <laughs> that guy got killed by a banana. Oh man. <laughs> oh man. Uh, uh. Don't die, banana. Kazoo's new BBFF. Uh, <laughs> banana. Oh, wait, no. That's yep, banana. Twin Peaks Nightmare. <laughs> That's banana best friend forever, by the way. 
<laughs> oh yeah. Oh my God, plush banana assassin. <laughs> I'm I'm already like making uh, a felt one in my head, like like the move yeah. plush banana assassin. Yeah. Yeah. Can we do that? Can yeah. We can we do what Osa yeah. said and have Twin Peaks Nightmare? I want to go there. It's the hipster bar. Twin Peaks Star. Nightmare. What do you think this whole campaign is? <laughs> it's basically the same thing. You've been having like weird sessions with David Lynch writing these things. Yeah. So Dave. Uh, having a conversation with a loon while writing this stuff. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Uh, let's see. It ends with pink mist. Just go down the list, kazoo. Banana survives. Good. I gotta say, even though you know Steve is evil, I kind of like that banana too. Just saying. <laughs> I got one more, and then uh -huh. I left for a while because I had to eat before the haiku, so I didn't really catch the end. But I did a I did a I did a wrap up one for this too. But let me do one, and then oh. that one. Uh, so just two more haikus, and then we can talk amongst ourselves. Good first day, Yadrick. We are a great team, Kazoo. Promote that Nana. <laughs> yes. She got promoted, which I thought was great. And then I said, I call this side quest. Hey, is that a banana? <laughs> Hashtag Nana Zoo. <laughs> there we go. And with that, I close the holy book of haikus that I got from wow. 49 cents at Goodwill. Nice. Wow. Yeah. I do like uh, Frank's idea, banana assassin movie poster. I will work on that. Uh, next auction, <laughs> get the, oh the, yeah. Well, we're hoping, yeah. Get get onto that car payment. <laughs> uh, oh my god, oh, we man. got mortgages, man. Whew. All right, here, oh we go. Go. here is on oh, that's a good two. One. All the flying daggers. It always ends with pink mist. Kazoo, brutal, dude. <laughs> yeah. That was brutal. Seeing Kazoo fighting to do Slippery Steve was pretty awesome. Like, you could see her, like, trying to, like, get a hold, but he was just a little bit stronger. Yeah, she tried mm -hmm. her best, you know? Like, she's still under this illusion that she's a good person. Illusion? I'm right here, Rom. I can hear you. Oh, oh, she's sorry. a good person. I'm not a bad person. I'm not a bad person, but I'm not, you know, I'm, uh, hey, I may not be good, but I'm not bad. <laughs> All right. I'm not All evil. Right. You got this your own might, you having this conversation? This might okay. turn into one of those incredible journey kind of shows, but uh, yeah, you, you see what I'm talking about. Banana Assassin, <laughs> <laughs> Pistachio, Loon yeah. Sloth, and an adventure together. Yeah, it's got to yeah. be like Brave Little Toaster meets. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's going to be okay. great. That is 100% a Sunday side quest. That's the but Saturday that morning cartoon of Nat 21 Adventures. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. It's great. For you, have to, you, have to, you have to spell it right. There's too many A's in there. It's yeah, banana. banana oh, my God. oh, my God. And Frank is like the guy on Blue's Clues. Who's <laughs> like the one non-puppet <laughs> in the show. Oh, my God. It's going to be so Aww. great. Uh, oh, it's my gosh. Like we Frank just need to be like... Uh, I don't know, probably like one million times more famous, I think. <laughs> It'll take Frank with the adventures. budget that gives us time. That's yeah. it, it's oh my God. that's the thing. It's it's the budget that uh, gives us time. Right. <laughs> right. Yeah. Oh Look, this is what we're coming up with in like literally like the planning meeting is about 14 seconds. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so what are we doing next? Okay, well, here's what. I, all right, we've got this, and then we got this, and we got this. Well, it's got to line up with this. Okay, so then it's just gonna have to be this. Okay, go, and we're on. <laughs> banana assassin, yeah, do the banana assassin. That <laughs> that would have to be what Kitty's genius, right there. Oh yes, Kitty's genius. <laughs> I want. Wait, what was the idea we shot down? Because um, wait, 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 no, wait, 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 because because. Remember, everyone, this was the second best idea <laughs> below Banana Assassin. <laughs> I wanted uh, I wanted to, to glue googly eyes on a raw fish. <laughs> like a filet of raw fish. Which is awesome. Oh. But I was like, it's going to be a little problematic. I think people 
can I think people are gonna actually find more connection with a banana. <laughs> They did with a banana. People connected with that banana. <laughs> These are the conversations. Banana, 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 if you banana know what was I mean. my second choice. Okay, I was like, it's gotta be, it's gotta be equally whatever it is. It's gotta be equally as ridiculous as a slice of raw fish. But like, I don't know how to glue fish to a plate without it sliding off. And so I was like, it has to be something that's like to... on par with that. Maybe a banana. I'm gonna tell you. For me, it was about the the knife. Hand. Like, the knife just like, like the freaking out banana with the it knife. It reminded me of clamps from yeah. Futurama. Oh, yeah. It was beautiful. I made it out of clay real quick, like nice. an hour before the show. Wow. That's great. Oh, oh my God. We are this some. Is, this is us with no time. This was our 14 second uh, planning meeting. We are oh. brilliant artists. <laughs> Like, really I did make the gnome hat yesterday. Yeah. So. Like uh, yeah. future, past ages had like Da Vinci, Michelangelo. <laughs> you know, now they have us. Yeah. And and oh, I, you know, for anybody who's out there the who's like, oh my God, we we did really think about some of this. Some of it is like long stories. Some of it is like we formed them. We like, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. We talking, you know. But the banana was super last minute and was like. I was like, no, banana banana for the win. Are you kidding me? Because I, I kept thinking of you like trying to hold a fish. And I was like, I was like, that's gonna be a problem. Like it's gonna be really funny at first. And then like five minutes in, you're gonna be like, I can't believe I'm holding no, a fish. <laughs> I was gonna glue it to a plate and then just <laughs> hold the plate. <laughs> but how do you glue raw fish to a plate? But luckily, I bought bananas this week, and so it was like, well, bananas are always funny. Like, yeah, they're great. Bananas have a long history of being funny in this mm -hmm. house. I don't know if some <laughs> of you know. Some of you know it's a very long history. Uh, and I was about to say, <laughs> the all banana, banana shigi ninja, and banana assassin team up. I'm just saying, there's a team up here for bananas, banana bunch. Yeah. Uh, banana wait, what's here. this other ninja okay. banana? Wait, what is the ninja banana? Okay. Banana shiki. Uh, so, does anyone, does anyone, anyone remember Fushigi? It, it's basically, it's a contact juggling ball, and it was sold. It's such a crap. Like, it was sold as, like, it had some sort of device that you, that oh, you could be yeah. able to contact juggle without actually taking the time to actually practice and learn contact juggling. It was the Fushigi. Okay. Yeah, they tried but, to make it seem like it like was self-working or something. Right. And so the advertisements were like and there's like people that we knew who would like who 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 could contact juggle. And I don't know if they knew that they were being had or what or they were but but it was like it's so easy. And you're like it's like I personally know, you know, like how many hours of practice that sort of thing takes but the advertisement was like there's like some sort of magnets or something inside as onsa eats bananas next to me <laughs> like <laughs> a banana that's too, like, soon. that's too soon and so yeah. oh no oh my god i can't so uh kitty uh you want to tell the story of, of while you brutally murder a banana right in front of us. Oh, <laughs> it's just happening again. It's happening again. Oh my god, you are the worst. So we um, developed emotional attachment to inanimate objects, Paul. <laughs> it's just like I could take this banana and call it Steve and then break it and a little piece of you dies, right? It's not like, like I massacred an owl or anything. <laughs> So tell a story. Okay, so uh so so the this Fushigi infomercial came on a lot and it just made jugglers across the nation just angry. Mind. Not just across the nation, like in other like the whole know. world. Like jugglers are just pissed about this because Money it's a stupid banana. it's a stupid gimmick and this is a really hard skill that people actually learn. Anyway, so um uh, some of you may or may not know Brent Friasco, my delightful other half, before we ever met, made a infomercial called Banana Shigi. And it's, it's all, it's, this, it's just the commercial, like shot for shot, not exactly, but close enough, 
where Brent is pitching the banana shiki to you. It's so it's amazing. It practically <laughs> does it itself. And they're basically like doing like vaguely contact juggling maneuvers with a banana. And like, wow, I can't believe it. It's amazing. You and can do this. This is something you can do. And like Brett actually does juggle a bunch of them. And like he interviews a bunch of weirdos that are like around the town and everything. So basically he put this video out. Everybody loved it. And then, like, when he would do shows, he would do, like, a little banana shigi presentation. And you could buy a banana shigi uh, for nineteen ninety nine and get a free banana shigi t-shirt, <laughs> which people did. Can I still get that? Is that still a thing that's out there? <laughs> you can still call the phone number, but uh, he does not have any more shirts. He needs to start making them again because a couple years ago, we found out that the Japanese juggling festival or Japanese juggling association made their own banana shiki video because they saw his video and then made their own video that also got circulated mm -hmm. around. Like it reached Japan. It was ridiculous. Banana but, shiki. Yeah. yeah so amazing. there's amazing. Whoa. Like, <laughs> That's really crazy magic you're doing. Like I want to get more. Amazing things you can do with the banana shiki. It's like it's doing it itself. Hey, Paul. What level of spell is that you're using on that? <laughs> it wasn't my spell book. He only I mean, paid 1999 to get it. Oh wow. That's right. It was only 1999. I'm on press I'm on press Gorgor with my banana if I get it. Banana shiki. My banana shiki. So when I first when I first the day I met Brent, he was wearing his banana shiki shirt. And I was like, oh wow, I didn't know they made shirts for that because i had seen the video years ago <laughs> and uh he's like yeah of course and and i was like wait you know the guy that did the banana shiki video and he was like i am the guy that did the banana I video and i'm like i'm meeting a celebrity <laughs> oh my god <laughs> <laughs> all right well what else anyway, do we have banana to talk about? Oh, no. oh my gosh yes yeah. so banana shiki so banana ninja Named Banana Shigi, Banana Assassin, Team Up, Incredible Journey, Brave Little Toaster. It's in. All right, it's in. It's in. Let's do it. Sunday, Saturday morning cartoons, everybody. So okay, there are right. so many Banana Shiki videos out there now. Oh yeah, really? Probably. And a Twitter and a blog. Okay, continue. No way. Are you serious? I gotta tell Brent. <laughs> <laughs> Well, now you're only two degrees of separation away from. <laughs> well, my friends. Uh, yeah, well, let's see. What do we else we have? We have our next show coming up uh, tomorrow night. Carmel Cleveland is Ooh. doing her uh, sci-fi bedtime Big stories. Time. That's going to be at, oh, gosh. Let me get that banner up there. 11? 11 o'clock. And then Tuesday night, of course is the next Nat 21 Adventures at 8 p.m. Uh, we have Creating with the Crew and uh, let's see, Creating with the Crew at 12.30 p.m. Wednesday with 8 p.m. World Spirit Tarot with Madame Ansa. Thursday in the morning, it is Sonnets with Shakespeare and 10 p.m. this Thursday night, we have Gothic Horror Gaming. That's right. More friends. Who are doing uh, are doing a gothic horror uh, gaming show, gaming show, role playing show, uh, and uh, it's gonna be great. And so for your horrific time Thursday night, Nat Twenty One Channel is the place to be. So I do hope you've enjoyed your night. We've been I chatting did. about all sorts of stuff. I had a great time this whole night. I'm gonna go crash out because I've been sitting here for I don't know twelve hours. I don't know. Yay. It's like a telethon. You're a madman. <laughs> so, all right, my friends. We hope to all see you all again. Uh, this has been the Haiku Wrap Up. Yeah, thanks for, for coming. 21. Have a great night, everybody. Enjoy the rest of your night. We'll see you all here next all right. time. Bye, Katie. Bye, Kazoo. At each close of show, to see Romulus we go. Haiku synopsis. In 575, hear our wizard summarize. These strange times.